Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Oh, shut your mouth. I think I sound kind of whiny when I say that. Oh, shut your mouth! Oh, shut your mouth! Shut your mouth! <laughs> shut your mouth! I'm talking to you. Yes, you, the viewers at home. Or, you know. Or wherever you are, you don't have to be at home. You might not be at home. Maybe you're in a pub now, or in the garden. That's the thing or... that's happening, isn't it? That is a thing that's happening. The world is open again. It's kind of. Ish. For some people, it was never closed, Jeremy. For some people, I believe. You hear these stories about celebrities who just go to the clubs and for whom the pandemic has not been a thing. Yeah, it's true. Or, you know, Kelly Jenner. who continue streaming at their friends' houses every Wednesday, then Friday night. Yeah. Or That's... like, all these Kylie Jenner, rather. Kelly Jenner is someone I used to go out with. Kylie! <laughs> Kelly! <laughs> Kelly! Kelly's out there all the time! <laughs> Can you imagine? In Folkestone. Kylie Jenner was like, oh, I'm still going down to the clubs doing whatever I was mm, doing. It was definitely more of a we don't give a shit thing in America oh yeah I mean they just closed the clubs here that solved that didn't they yeah so. in America they were like oh, we're still doing whatever we want living the vida loca doing their shit living the vida covid <laughs> <laughs> welcome yeah. in to don't get me started episode 45 hmm. I mean it's a nice round number but we're, I've got some crisps says, what do you want from me um and they say it would never get this far. People, yeah, the naysayers. They, they, them, them. Those, bastards. The, they talk a lot, don't they? I mean, yeah, we had so much hate mail. Do you remember opening all that hate mail we got saying you'll never make it to 45? I do. I don't understand yeah. why they picked yeah. that number. I don't know why I sent a letter to myself, but there I you know. go. I Me did. too. Mm. And I, I was talking about my age 45. I was so certain that I wouldn't make it to 45. I was just like, right, you know. Um... But, you know, hopefully that won't be the case. But at any rate, here we are. Don't get me started. 45. If you've never been here before, well, I mean, you took your fucking time. But at any rate, uh, it's the Ranty Banty podcast where myself, Alex, and this is Jeremy talk some bullshit for an hour and a half. Definitely bullshit. It's already kicking off before we even got started. We've already had uh, two resubs and a raid. So thank you to MJ Harmstone and Jaeger and Arcade 2 for Arsade. the raid <laughs> you love saying Arsade Arsade I just I, I love it I think it's Arsade. great Arsade um, Invasion you McMikey your army is growing yes and soon <laughs> soon <laughs> you alright there mm. have a crisp no um, soon well I don't know what we're going to take on there must be some places with our army we've got some areas I mean I think the first step is an episode from not this room and out in the world oh, at yeah, large. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think I... now might be the time to start trying to think about that oh, before yeah. before the pubs get crazy again. Cray cray. Might People be too say late. That. Might be too late. Mm. The ones that are doing limited openings, maybe we say, Hey, how about you limited open and we do a live show from your from your pub and we let in like ten people or whatever. Yeah. Oh, that would be great. I, I think, would dig that. I think that's something we can possibly get started which goes against everything we stand for <laughs> absolutely we don't we you know i'm saying don't get me started it says it on the cushion next to our wonderful happy unhappy faces well happy first questions what are the wine and crisp choices for the evening well i went back to the this uh, is a fine vintage of <laughs> uh uh pep peps pepsi mooks yeah max mooks Pepsi Mooks, uh, from the, I believe it's the, the cunt grape, the cunt 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 grape. Yeah. Yes, that's yes, yes. It's very famous, very popular grape actually. Arsade is what they call Pepsi in some sort. How do you feel about that? What's the viscosity of it? <laughs> does it cling to the edge of the glass? It does cling to the edge of the glass. Let me. I'm long past the first nose. Let me have the thirty seventh <laughs> nose. <laughs> the eighteenth nose. Um, I. Yeah, that smells like Pepsi. As yeah. you will learn in my haps before we approach it I happen to sit in one, uh, the garden of another one of our streamers this week whereupon I was in gift- the garden of streamers <laughs> honey <laughs> um, <laughs> in the garden of streamers honey I had some a wonderful Malbec and I've found pretty much the same Malbec so I have a Malbec I'm into Malbec at the moment and the crisps we've got are the jalapeno cheese we had a few weeks ago that really 
dare I say it, fucked you up a little bit. Mm. I fucked you up. I mean, um, you know, were hard act to swallow. Literally, it yeah, yeah. It, uh, it gave me a bit of a heart attack of the tongue. Yes. And by the way, we still have the same Doritos mix that was crap last week. Oh, yeah. Because that hasn't moved from there. And But I've got... I'm not sure you can keep them that long. Can you I'm not? I'm sure it's like keep for three days I and mean, then throw away. I mean, it's just tomato. I mean, maybe. But don't worry. Consume within three days of opening. Wow. What's, yeah. what's four days between friends? And um, Drink every also, time he says Malbec. Don't do that. You'll die. <laughs> I've got, I've got, you will die. I've got... Um, oh, yeah. I, I might give that a go today. Perry Perry. Yeah. Perry Perry. You've been now trying to get Perry me Perry. to... Uh, Try the spicy thing that will kill me for ages, but I might I might actually do it today. Disappointing trouser choice as well. Well, to be... I mean, this is kind of common. It is over 10 degrees. I am wearing shorts. These are the only jeans I own. That's, that's the rule. Do you know what I, I makes me unhappy is that I make my best jean choices and best shirt choices in the real world. But unfortunately, we're not really in the real world. So I have to order things online and, and then they come to me and I'm like, yeah, that's bullshit. And then you end up sending them back in. That's the thing. As we uh, discovered last week, I am running short of shorts. Um, so I need to buy some more shorts. But that's a lot easier done in the real world than Isn't ordering just... online. If I look at you know a picture of some dude, I'm like, well, is he the same height as me? Is he not the same height as me? I is mean... this going to stop at the knee? Am yeah. I going to be you know flashing the quads here and there? Just knock the mold off it. Yes, I agree totally. Knock the mold off what? What? The the uh, the, uh, oh, your, the your shorts. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just knock that mold off. Sorry, I didn't it's notice that. It's in the back of the cupboard. Alex, I got a De Bear shirt today. De Bears. I like the way he's telling me about that. It sounds like something that you would care about, hmm. but maybe you already knew. I like. I that. did already know. I think that's yes. cool. De yes. Bears. He didn't get it for De Bears. No. No, he he got it for the most complicated reason possible. There, as you know, we don't have time for that. Uh, <laughs> we uh, we like a show called Carmen Rider. Oh yes, and we really uh, didn't have time. The De Bear shirt is actually a cosplay of one of the characters in civilian ah. form. He wears a Chicago Bears shirt that for is some reason. A tangled root. I don't know why, but he does, and I dig it. And now I dig that it gets other people to buy bear shirts. Everybody should have a bear shirt. I'm not against except it, except for Andy Dalton. Fuck that guy. <laughs> yeah. Nice, I like that. Live a little. Alex will be eating sewer strumming in a few months anyway, so it won't be the worst thing either of you eat on stream this year. Well, <laughs> all right then. Are we doing it? Before we get into this is happening, am I am I going to die? Eru, this is death. We popped into your stream. And yes, into mine. welcome. Eru, welcome in. Thank you very much for joining us on Don't Get Me Started. I mean, let's not go too insane. Hang on. Let's go, man. I've got more in a bottle. It's quite tasty. Tasty. Very, very tasty. It's very tasty. I didn't even have a crisp first to, you know. See how spicy the crisps were. So fucking insane. Some people just want to watch the world burn in their mouth. Mm. It's Friday. It's wine day. We're having a good time. We've got so many good things to do today. I'm just uh, so many, so many things. Unfortunately, Jeremy won't be here because he'll have died of heat. How was that? Still going. <laughs> Let's get it started. <clears throat> How many times can say Alex say tasty in three seconds? It's tasty. T it, by the way, it's an advert. <laughs> it's tasty, tasty, very tasty. They're very tasty. Um, it was the brown old brown flakes advert. You remember the old brown flakes advert? Who oh, does? Yeah. They're tasty. Okay, so I survived. I actually think the crisps of the other week were worse. So. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, no, well, that, there is a bit of uh, of taste to that. Fire brigade for Jez. No, we're all right. We're okay. I'm sure you'll progress to the next next stage up. Bran flakes, showing your age, they still sell them. Yeah, also, I've been eating bran flakes for my entire life. I started when I was small, and I still eat them now. I had a bowl of bran flakes yesterday. No one under 65 eats bran flakes. I, I eat bran they're flakes. So, they're tasty! I fucking love bran flakes. They're very, very tasty. Throw some uh, some sultanas in there. Bran flakes, it was basically a sultana <laughs> bran then, but... I buy the, the quality Sultanas, not the shit they throw in the Sultana brand. What about the brown flakes? That's a different matter. Here's what they all reply. They're tasty, tasty. By the way, I was in... I got that in my head a few weeks ago, a few months, months ago, really. And then I immediately bought some brown flakes <laughs> from an advert that was on in, like, I don't know, 1988, 1992. Pick a year, what the fuck. When I what? was 17, I ate some very good flakes. This is largely what we do, really, isn't it? Talk bollocks. 
Shall we talk some more bollocks, but invite you guys to talk bollocks, good bollocks and bad bollocks, in the segment we like to call This Is Happening. In a world filled with haps and naps, two men have risen above to bring you This Is Happening. Jez, are you trying to spontaneously combust? Well, it won't be very spontaneous, will it? I've, no. I've chosen to put it in my face, so... Spontaneous human combustion is a confusing thing. You hear that people just burst into flames and just die and nobody... Like, yeah. Does that blow your mind a little bit? That no. that's a thing? No, it blows their bodies. Their bodies and yeah. it's just left there. I cry bullshit, to be honest. Yeah, it sounds like <clears> it's bullshit. <throat> <laughs> Nap. Alex looking younger than all of us despite being old enough to get the vaccine. That's not... Yeah, I know. I feel bad for you. Yeah, well, you, haven't, you, you haven't had the vaccine. No, I haven't. That was a joke. Well, I, I mean, I haven't had the vaccine, but I like to play with running jokes. So it wasn't, it was a block if I say to Mike, oh, actually, I haven't had the vaccine because that didn't work. No. So I had to say I had it. No, I'm here to bring that, that cold, hard destruction. <laughs> yeah, if you jokes. are telling me a joke, I will join in on your joke. But I haven't. And do you know something? What's nap about that is that I... um. They were like, if you're 60, you can have it. If you're 50, you can have it. And as they approach the 40s, they're like, if you're 45, you can have it. Almost there. And then I read <laughs> on the front of the paper, it said, by June, oh, we can get to that in a moment. By June, people under 40 will have it. And I'm like, what happened to me? There's this gap which I'm in. They're like, just like, I don't, it's like, well, let's just skip Alex and give every, I bet you I end up without a vaccine. Um, Jez being old enough to have the vaccine. It wasn't about age. No, it was about being in the right place at the right time. In the words of Starlight Express, I got a raise. Whoop, whoop. Well, raise your glass. Almost Ooh. as worthy as some squirrels. That's excellent. Good Except work, Hannah. Difficult. I'm going to give you a squirrel. Hannah's yeah. joke telling. Why doesn't an octopus talk? <laughs> Why doesn't an octopus talk? Oh, Christ. Hang on, hang on. I'm giving your Hannah a squirrel. There you go. Hey, that's good. 25% Dodeca Cheese Drawn Live Eat Done. Yes. It's getting there. He has a community challenge. Drop your bits on it. Right. Singing more bad touch than Alex managed on Discord. Oh. I feel that I could have done more, but I just didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> I did felt it was a bit rude to kind of interrupt a person singing. But um, you really did smash it, so that much is certain. Very well done. I was very impressed, actually. Some hard lyrics in that song. Um, Before we crack in proper to the, the haps and oh, yes, from yes, the stream, yes, yes, shall yes, we yes. actually explain what the hell is going on right now oh, to anybody yes. that might be tuning in for the first time? This is This Is Happening. I'm going to have a crisp while you're saying We uh, share the good things and the bad things that have happened to us this week. Our haps, good things, and our naps. And you can use your channel points, as long as you've you know hung out here long enough, to share them on the screen. Those not sent in via channel points will not be accepted because... That's not how it works. Yeah. Fuck you. Hang out. Naps uh, and naps. Goods and bads. You can do them any order. Nap, says Jaeger. My left leg hurts for no reason. Well, if that persists, go and see a doctor. Yeah. You might have a, like, DVT or something. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Hannah's joke telling, why does an octopus talk? This has been her joke all week, and it's insert different animal here. It's like... Um, why doesn't a squirrel talk? Why, why doesn't a squirrel talk? Because it's a squirrel. <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny. I can only imagine that's Laura diminishing returns on that joke. When you first heard it, you were like, oh, that's quite amusing. And then it all just went downhill. I was like, that. good job, Hannah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now I'm like, don't quit your day job, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing up chimneys. Mm. Uh, we've done that one. We've done that one. Got a new Godzilla. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. I don't even own a Godzilla, <laughs> let alone a new Godzilla. Uh, there, is, there is one among us in the... Uh, <laughs> Primetime Streamer Network that does own a Godzilla. Do you know who that is? There is one among us in the Primetime Streamer Network who does own one. Mm -hmm. I'm presuming it's you. Well, no, I don't own a Godzilla. I've, I I have Godzilla stock. That right. doesn't count. But I do not own a Godzilla. It seems like so it, it should be someone you. else. Okay. Oh, uh, it's not me. No. I'm going to say it's Ashley. It is not. Oh, who is it? It's Captain Brilliant. Oh, really? Mm. Ah, yeah, I should have said him. He bought it from me. <laughs> What is that said? Lying in bed, doing a puzzle, you were singing bad touch to two professional singers. It's very kind of you to in, in, include me in that. He's, only, not, he's not professional. Only one of us travelled around Europe getting paid for it. Oh, though in fairness, I feel I could have done it. 
Um, well, I, as soon as you actually get your area set up and you, somebody drops you a bit, I know. Singing, then you're a professional. Oh, singer. oh, the moment I do that, that would be amazing. Yes, thank you very you much. You might do some karaoke on stream and get one bit for it, and then I can call myself yeah. a professional singer too. Yes. Hmm. Why not? Yeah. Oven still doesn't work, but your sound bar does. There you go. So just slide your pasties right on in the sound bar, and yeah, you're halfway home. What you want is a sound bar, which is also a microwave. Uh, Hap still being up to date on podcast editing despite having recorded five episodes this week churning them out humble brag yeah I know I mean they're not quality they're all like 10 seconds long but you know <laughs> hi and welcome to the uh, um, whatever it is Demol podcast <laughs> Demol uh, there wasn't an episode this week tune in next week when See there might next be week. an episode <laughs> <laughs> got a soundbar and got it working Wee. Jaeger's got channel points to burn. Duff Valley, looking forward to my box from TTS. I'm not. That's not enough for me to work out. Toku Toy Store. Oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. Glad you managed to translate that if you mm. haven't. Goblin Tea Power, Hap, drove a car and didn't kill anyone. Including yourself. That's amazing. Nice. And whoever was presumably teaching you how to drive the car. Mm. Everyone got away with that one. Unscathed. Good work. So technically, Alex is a professional competitive eater. <laughs> Well, <laughs> professional eater. He wasn't competing against anyone, so he's just a professional eater. <laughs> Maybe I can make. I don't know. I'll talk about competitive. I have tried to do competitive stuff in the past, but I haven't got paid for it. Um, drove a train and didn't kill anyone. Way, way to upstage people, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I yeah. drove a car. Yeah, well, I drove a train. Fuck you. <laughs> That's way more exciting. Yes, it is. It is way more exciting. I want to know. I want to know. Um, Duff, is there like in a train, it, it, do you have to put your foot on like a permanent pedal so that if you step away, the train just slows down? No, it's like a hand lever. Haven't you ever watched Thomas the Tank Engine? No. Oh, well, I did. But at that point, they did not involve the minutiae of the internal of the carriage. They would just drive the trains around from the outside. I never. I only ever exterior shots. But I can only presume that, say, you had a heart attack in a train. That's a heart attack. Yeah, by the I mean, way. they may have changed it from since the. Is days there a is there dead man's pedal? That's what I'm talking about. Is, so yes, that is there one answer probably yes. I mean, because yeah. otherwise the train would go down down the track. Career into whatever. Yeah, there have been several crashes since the days of Thomas the Tank Engine. So maybe they've kind of upgraded that shit a little bit. I don't know. Drove a spaceship and didn't kill anyone. Well. That sounds like... Who's uh, the real winner here? Well, yeah. I mean, there's in space, there's very little to crash into. No one can hear you crash. <laughs> we wouldn't know. Good, good Wi-Fi, though, to tell us that, though. Uh, if Armstone crashes in space, <laughs> is anybody there to see it? <laughs> Does it make a sound? No, it's in space, but... Really mixing movie <laughs> slogans and... Uh, in space, in space, no one can hear Armstone scream. Yeah, uh, go drove a planet and didn't kill anyone. Nice. I really don't know how you can um, escalate from that. Yes, plus TPWS and AWS. Those certainly are letters. Mm. I feel he knows more about trains than we do. Well, he's read a book and done an exam and stuff. Oh, so. so bloody well, I hope so then. Mm. Oh, yes. The important measure of time. Since the time of Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> and everything after. And there, are, you know, there are different periods of Thomas the Tank Engine as well. So you know, you can really measure time via Thomas I've the Tank I've measured out my life in Thomas the are Tank Engine. Are we talking Engine? Thomas books? Thomas... TV series, Thomas animated series. You can really go through the eras, Ringo Starr or after. Yeah, you can even break it down even. Ringo further. Starr and everything after that lesser known Counting Crows album. <laughs> Does, Does it go, go choo, choo choo? Jinx, Miss Noma. <laughs> In the year of our Lord, twenty twenty one, after Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. We worked it we out. Got it. We we were on it. Mm. <laughs> The context of everything was enough for us. I might have to get some more wine off this. It's fucking amazing. Pint of real ale in the local. You've done that already then. So after months and months and months of drinking that fake ale, he's finally gone to the real stuff. Yes, he's gra He's a real boy now. It's not faux ale anymore. No. No, no, no. Faux ale. A lot of good stuff coming out. Do you have any haps? My hap is similar to that. And, I thought it might uh, be. It relates to you as well. Yes. Because... Uh, we're going to the pub tomorrow. Yes! Way. Very. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah, we're going to go tomorrow to an actual 
pub. Mm. You know more about it than me because you've arranged it. But That's true, but I didn't want to steal your and, thunder. And basically just said, hey, do you want to go do this? I, went, I yeah. did. But, but you brought it up, so I didn't want to kind of like step all over it. But for the purposes of the tape, um, there's a bar in town called Space. Um, in and Space. It is the final frontier. <laughs> And no one can hear you scream. No one can hear. <laughs> Which is good, considering what I'm going to be doing to Alex. <laughs> In the beer garden. Yeah, it's a place called Space, the Space Bar, I guess. Uh, it's a really nice place, really good. Into The interior is lovely as well. It's a really, really lovely place, but obviously we can't go in, in the, indoors. But outside is perfectly serviceable. And I'm really looking forward just to ordering some wine. I know I have wine, but my hat will be the ritual of ordering in a pub in the real world, so... So yeah, it's called it's called Space. Wait, not Kips, no. And the reason is Kips doesn't have a garden. Uh, it has a little outdoor area. Whether that classes itself as a garden, I'm it not really sure. Doesn't, really. But the it's bottom like a line is, area, isn't it? it's so small with no tables and like kind of little benches that Kips does not have the setup. No. Uh, and neither does Chambers to be able to open up in that beer gardeny way. So unfortunately, no Kips, but space can confirm 12 hour beer garden sesh tomorrow do you know what I mean it would be really really great just to drive down to <laughs> just to drive down to Bristol just to go down to Bristol it's very and... up everything's up from here do you think so mm. I suppose you're right but I always think along you know left west you know, west manifest destiny the way of like Davy Crockett and I don't know what I'm talking about but anyway yes beer gardens Wine, that's gonna be fun. It that's is. Be, I mean, it is. I don't know what I'm gonna have there. Maybe some cider. They do some cider in there. Maybe you're a cider perhaps. fan. Yeah. I mean, I've not been there, so I'm gonna uh, go in, feel the vibe. If it feels like a cider type pub, then I'll have a cider. Mm. If it doesn't, then well, it's outside, so I suppose it's gonna be a cider type pub because outside is where you drink cider. You can go to Barney's Pub. Barney's Pub is in Malmesbury, though, which is you know three and a half hours away from where we are mm. I'm not against it that would be insane though did someone say live stream from a beer garden well, you did well I mean we could live stream but we it could. would be at the same time as Captain Brilliant yeah actually we wouldn't be able to there's, there's two on yeah on Saturday yeah basically yeah we'd be breaking the law I'm sure we'll record a video and put it on discord or something that sounds nice yeah yeah pubcast don't get me pub tip <laughs> doesn't really work anyway um do you have any haps i've got so many haps and you better get started on them we've only got to today before we need to you know, move on to tomorrow and do other things so. <laughs> yeah we do this, this is happening it takes a long time um only five more weeks till 50 just saying and that's maths that is true well we're going to be doing something good for that i hope yes i mean i don't want to lay it out there but no I'm, we are doing something good but it's largely contingent on other things so we're waiting for to it to be closer so that we can see if the other things are things or not yep and that is and entirely does, as cryptic as i'm gonna does be. not get any clearer than that yeah hello lozzy good to have you here and hello chaos good to have you here thank you very much for popping welcome in. welcome hello the entire GG, dgms listener group should all go in socially distance groups of six of course i think so too. hey i tell you what like you may joke but as soon as it's actually a thing you can bet your ass we are promoting and putting on a live this is a big crisp live in person probably from a a bar don't get me started and everybody's welcome we'll do it so far in advance that people can sort it out book tickets to come and that'd be amazing be in hotels or whatever just wherever you are get you ass here something good first time for everything boom don't get me barted <laughs> Roasted. I, I think that's the best one and don't that's get what me it will be yes. called I can only imagine that Tam's Naki must be preparing for her return to England because I haven't seen her in here and she's no. the kind of person that would definitely drop in a No, she's been a pun. Been absent uh, a fair bit this week because mm. she's been packing. She's got shit to do. Doing shit. Well, she's coming back on the 25th of April. That is next Sunday. So mm. the day after I do a 12-hour stream of 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock because I hit 200 followers, which is one of my haps. Because obviously we've been doing this since October. We've managed to get to 200. Very pleased about that. That's nice. So yeah, very happy. And we never did something at 50, although other people did. And other people did stuff at 100. And I felt that this was time 
you hear about people doing giveaways and all this sort of stuff that you should or shouldn't, whatever you want to do really, but 200 feels like a good time to do it. So one of the haps has hit 200. Mm. One of the haps yesterday was we got a hype train, really pleased, where Montas, Montas turned up. Is that you upstaging Duff? He drove a train, you drove a hype train. I think it, I will try and upstage stuff, but I think <clears throat> driving a real train is still going to beat yeah, you're right. the fake better. train. Yeah. But the fake hype train, which was also real, was very cool, based on so many wonderful people who are here tonight who dropped bits in it, and also some random guy who came and dropped loads and loads of bits, which was really crazy. But yeah, so probably next week we'll do that. Saturday, in fact, probably not next week. I mean next week, next Saturday we'll do that. And then and then Tamsinaki is Tamsin Baki, as Hannah says. <laughs> And we get to pick your food, right, Alex? Yeah, probably. Why not? What on the on the twelve hour stream? She was in yeah. Montas a good stream. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Well, Montas a good uh, is the guy who dropped bits like it was going out of fashion. Was it Montas, not mm. Monsters? Yeah, oh, it's what, Montas. What's a Monta? Well, the story behind that quickly was that when he first set up an account. He misspelled it. He was he misspelled it. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, he was quite young. I think he set it out for something else <clears throat> and said he explained that he'd set it up as monsters are good. And it was only his dad, like a few weeks later, said, "Mate, you spelt that wrong." And then he just kept it everywhere. It just became a running joke. So I dig that sort of thing. So cool. when he first came in, um, he dropped like seventy pounds. I know, I know, I know. It was it was bonkers. Because um, that's the thing. Whenever I read something, because even then. I will tend to read things correctly, even yes. if they are wrong. So I didn't even notice at first. That... He's now playing Undertale. I, told, I said he should play Undertale. There you go. I'm a trendsetter. You are a trendsetter. I love it. A uh, influencer. If I'm, you an infl- I'm an Undertale influencer. Soon everyone will be eating baked beans with their Oreos <laughs> and on their Weetabix. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. In small ways, influencing people every day. Love it. Very small. So- with tomato sauce. Yeah. <laughs> ABC is corrupting people. You better believe it. I mean, uh, I mean, I know at least one person in this chat that I corrupt as much as I possibly can. Um, but you know, maybe others as well. So, oh, another thing, another thing I love. Also, I mentioned I went to see Duncan. I went to see Duncan, the singer, for an outdoor little party in his garden. And the pasta maker came, Jeremy. The pasta maker came along. Pasta, pasta. And. Um, Oh my god, that pasta maker. Have you used it yet? Yes. Have you made pasta? Yes. Did I not send you the picture of it? Oh my no, god. No, no, no. I what will... type of pasta did you make? I sent it to... I sent it to... I made spaghetti the first night, and then I made tagliatelle the next night, basically. So you, the second you, you've stuck solely with the long stringy pasta. So well, those far. are the options on the on the second bit. I'll show you in a bit. All right. <laughs> but those are your options, is you can make the flat bit that's lasagna sheet, and all you do is you make your dough. Oh, and by the way, Jaeger, I saw plain flour today for 39p. And I'm like, and you only need half of it, so honestly, it's super cheap. But um, you make it, and then you keep putting it through it with smaller and smaller mangle amounts until it's super thin. And once you've got this long, super thin bit, then you drop it through the... The, the bit that looks like the spaghetti is so much fun. It's the best game I own at the moment. So, uh, Goblin Tea Power, welcome by the way. Yes. Are you going to make pasta in the 12 hour? Yes, he is. Yes. I've just volunteered. Yeah, and I, uh, yes, I mean, And I yes. want him to do it like MasterChef style where he's got to like do the pasta as quickly as possible. We're going to put him on a time constraint so that we get him there going. Well, I'm good at that. Um, he's had the practice. Always be corrupting. Who am I corrupting, says Lozzie. Well, one of you. One of you. It might be you, Lozzie, given the chance. This um, is the one upstream. Lady Sora drops in. Well, I got flour for 20p. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Jaeger is extremely stubborn. Well, it's just, well, I got the flour for 17p. So It's just really good. I advise you all, definitely get yourself a pasta maker. They're cheap. They're very cheap when you're gifted one as an influencer. You just get them sent to you, um, which is almost exactly correctly what happened to me. And then you just put the stuff through it. It's so easy to make pasta. You'll never buy pasta again. It's super easy. Just process that shit, dough it up, send it through it, put fucking put it in a pan. It's fresh. It cooks really quickly. Love it. I got it for fi- I got it for 50, 16p. Oh, I can't beat that. <laughs> if you have bought that windmill, as I'd suggest. <laughs> if you bought that windmill, as I suggested, it would already be paying dividends. I feel like an idiot, chaos. A mill. Oh my god, I've got cramp for sitting on my. I mean, you're in the uh, the right county for mills. Maybe you should just be making your own flour. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, yes, absolutely. Yes. Um, Tamsinaki is here, but she is a in quiet mode and b probably way behind you to laggery buffery shit. Well, uh, let us just say 
Tamsi, and welcome to Don't Get Me Started, episode 107. <laughs> Uh, it's good to have had you back in uh, in town for the last four and a half years. I got it for free. I went to a field and stole some wheat. <laughs> everyone's get hey, everyone's getting itchy. Just for good measure, tip to cow. I got thirty five percent off at Adidas. That's all the savings we need. That that's a good that is a good saving. That's a good saving. What that were you good. buying, trainers? I don't own any Adidas. Not any single. I don't own any any uh, Adidas. 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 Is it Adi- I don't know. I say Adidas. What do you say? I say Adidas. Okay. Well, we say it differently. So, what do you say? You got to let us know. Always be windmilling. You can windmill. I think there's a concept, although I don't smoke uh, cannabis, that you windmill by passing it round to the person. So you just keep smoking the same joint. So we used to go to LARP to windmill. I mean, I'm pretty sure that people have had a name for that for generations. Like even children use it. It's called. Sh- Sharing, sharing, <laughs> but I think the idea is you're meant to do it fast, so it goes round and round like a windmill, rather than just taking its time to slowly windmill. But um, Man, these guys really need to uh, find better hobbies, I think. <laughs> Expensive wine again, or cheap bottle of battery acid? So glad you are squeezing the bean. Someone had to ask, and um, I've been dreading that moment. But carry on. <laughs> it <clears throat> it was uh, I think it was six pound fifty down from eight pound. It was reduced. Mike Harmstone will be pleased to know. It wasn't super expensive. It was middle of the road Malbec, but it is very tasty. So tasty, in fact, that I'm going to need to go and fill up my glass in a minute. But thank you for asking. It is neither battery acid, you slime, nor expensive, basically. So <laughs> there it is. Uh, Adidas, like Bade Das. Like Baddy Das. No, no, I was reading it wrong to be correct. Oh, a prick. I see. I'm try- now I'm trying to think how I would say Adidas like Bade Das. Fucking Ad- how much? Adidas. 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 Do, 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 do. Um, That's for you, Reese. <laughs> fucking how much? And reduced. Someone's doing well. <coughs> I'm joking on this. Stuff. I went round to see Duncan the Singer's house. It's a lovely house. And channeling my inner Mike Harmstone, he opened the door and I immediately looked at him and went, someone's doing well, which <laughs> I thought was hilarious. Uh, it must be nice. I was listening to the soundtrack to um, Hamilton earlier. Was Were wonderful. you? Yeah, I was. That's so inconsistent In my with your car. character. I know. Um, so, so many excellent things. It's the Singer Towers. It is. Well, we, we discovered the other day, mm-hmm. it's not the singer at all, it's Duncan Fessinger. <laughs> Duncan Fessinger. Duncan Fessinger. That's a good name. Mm. No Fortnite for me this week. Did it's you play it last week? Because if not, that's no Fortnite for a Fortnite, and that would have been oh. a funny joke. Try that one. Yeah. See how that works out. The, um... You could just play it. You know? Yeah. It's a game that you don't need people to play. You can that's just true. I never played play it. it. I've never, never played, played it either. I've never played it. Maybe we should give it a go. I reckon we'd be amazing at it. It's only, what is it? It's a it's a game for kids about shooting people in front of you. How do you yeah. going to fucking be? Yeah. Jeremy. Yeah. How, how could it be? Yeah, We're I, I, already I, the best at it. I downloaded it on my PS4. It's ready to go. I could get it. Um, went to see his house. Not Duncan the Singer, just his house. I went to see his wife. Well, that sounds a bit weirder than I intended. <laughs> went to see his wife. Went to see Amy. Fessinger wasn't there. <laughs> Fessinger so wasn't I there. Fessinger on her face. <laughs> Is he in the chat? <laughs> Fessinger all over her face. Um, oh, oh, happy days. <laughs> I think I might get some more wine. Can I? Will you yeah, you, me? you get some wine, man. <laughs> you get some wine. It must be nice. So you've got for your naps, if I may be so bold as to read yes. it. Um, nothing. Um, well, no, it, it was nothing because um. No, oh, he's lying. Apparently. It was nothing because like I had so many cool things. Also, Dungeons and Dragons that I've been running for like I don't know, over a year, almost over a year. I don't know what the fuck, who time, who knows. That's come to a halfway point. So Dungeons and Dragons came to a point. Two hundred followers. Oh, and I've been watching some wonderful TV programs. Have you? Yeah, I can't stop watching TV programs. I love it. I've got back into the TV programs that I'm now able to watch again because I've turned my TV back on, which is cool. Um, I like how Alex says, how hard can it be as if tempting fate to fuck him over? <laughs> Alex, what is the wild hunt? Um, well, you know, I'm just being a braggadocio and loving it. I have been watching three um, 
I've been watching three Disney Plus TV shows, and I like one of them better than all the others, basically. I've been watching WandaVision, which is a Marvel-based TV show about Wanda and Vision, the Scarlet Witch and Vision. I don't know how much you know about Marvel, so I don't know. Very little. I thought it was like a fish called Wanda. Or something. That would be amazing. And it is confusing and interesting, but ultimately not something that's completely captivating. And then there's the Falcon and... Uh, and Brian, apparently. Yeah, Falcon and the... Uh, yeah, there, Falcon and Brian. Thank you, Mike. I almost forgot his name. Um, which I've watched more of, but more because it's an easy watch. But the best one I've been watching is The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is phenomenal. I really like The Mandalorian. Everyone said it was amazing. They're right. It's really good. I really enjoy it. So there you go. That's a quick rundown of things I've been watching and what you should watch. Do watch The Mandalorian. I dig it. I so you haven't been watching the, the flying thing and the chili dude then? No. No, not yet. No. The flying thing? No, I haven't. No, no, no. Not to it. None of it. Fuck you, Alex. This is the content you're here for. Hat from Rooster. I'm half vaccinated. Second S- dose in May. Woo! Whoop, whoop. Stub beast. Um. Yes. You might be the last member of the primetime streaming network to have not had the f- first dose of the vaccine. Yes, Duncan has. You have. Ashley had had both, I think. Yes. Uh, has Captain Brilliant been vaccinated? No, I don't think so. Uh, Reese. Well, oh, Reese hasn't either. He hasn't. Okay, okay. There, are, there are more than you than I realised. Never mind. Never mind. It's one hundred percent up your strata. Uh, I see what you said. Yeah, um, the Mandalorian feels like tabletop RPG. It does, and actually, I really like the theme to it. And I like at the end during the credits, it's got kind of like art, comic book art kind of stuff. It just looks really stylish. The whole show is super stylish. Is the theme to the Mandalorian basically the theme to Knight Rider, but somebody sings Mandalorian over the top of it? It is exactly that. Did cool. you write that? Yeah, it's like Manda 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 That's Manda 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 you said Knight Mandoda, Rider. Knight Rider is... Yeah, yeah. And I thought it was like... Man, Airwolf, do, do. Knight Rider. They're all 80s <laughs> bullshit. Be, be, do, 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 do. That's not Airwolf either. What's that then? That's da- Yeah, that's Dallas. I haven't even watched Dallas. How the fuck is that do, in my do, head? Do, 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 do. Wait, is it Dallas? No, I don't think it's Dallas. Oh, Jack, sh- help. <laughs> <laughs> It might be Dallas. Hey, hey, hey! Being bottom of the vaccine list. Dynasty. Somebody look it up. I think it might be Dynasty. Dynasty sounds a bit more like it. Dallas. Someone turn on Shazam. I'll sing it again. That sounds like E.T. I went to see E.T. at the cinema. That shows my age. Definitely not getting the vaccine now. You're right. Bottom of the bottom of the vaccine list. I don't think I was born when E.T. was in the cinema. Bottom when did, of when the did it va- come out? It came out in 1982. I was not born when E.T. came out in the cinema. Taken from the county jail. Uh, my Shazam just says a bunch of cunts. Oh, so it knows. There yeah. you go. Do, 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 Good old Shazam. Do, 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 Never lets us do, do, down. Do, 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 do. Um, I think it might be Dynasty. I don't think it's Dallas. I think Dallas has a different... Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's yeah. a fun game. Maybe something this is something I'll do on my 12-hour stream. Is I will sing tunes and you can guess what the <laughs> fuck they are. That'd be quite fun. It's something to do with a horse. It feels like it should be Bonanza. But that is... That's Bonanza. I'm pretty sure it was... I believe you, Duff. I think you... Okay. I don't believe you. I've never watched Dallas. So where would I... Who's looked it up in the interim to make sure this is not wrong? It is... Yeah, it sounds right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, there you go. I feel like it's something that you know. But you I, knew it though. I've watched the, um, the the Saturday morning cartoons as a child, and then the Saturday morning cartoons are finished, and it's gone on to whatever comes next on on BBC, and it's some shitty sixties bullshit with the shit theme. At any rate, but that's that's not the theme to the Mandalorian, is what you're saying. No, it's whatever not. that is, it's not just that with. Uh, I can't sing the theme to the Mandalorian the because it's quite low key it's kind of cool and chilled and I couldn't even tell you what the theme was but it is good so well that wasn't the digression I was going for but it worked yeah we all had a lovely chat a lovely chat this is the kind of fun ranty nonsense that you can expect on (laughs) don't get me started and welcome in 
Last call for haps and naps before we move on to our next segment. If you have anything else to hap or nap, yeah. now is the time to drop hap it, it using your channel it. points. Do you yeah. have any last things? I can't actually read all that stuff. You put so no, much. No, I know so much bits and pieces. No, I've done it all. Um, I was going to say pub tomorrow, but you said pub tomorrow. Mm. So I think you, hap it or snap it. You, yeah. you, you, That's you the thing snap, at the moment. I'm looking forward to doing more real world things. Me too. My life is just low key fine. So low there's, key. there's <laughs> nothing like hap. Particularly hap. No. Or nothing particularly nap. You know? But soon. Soon. <laughs> I like that that's the way you went with Loki, by the way. Well, eh, eh, eh. Mm. Um, Alex, were you a child when Red Red Wine came out? If so, you be 40 ish. But um, tsh, actually, yes, I was a child when Red Red Wine came out because it came out in 1983. It's the subliminal messaging, you see, you know. And, <laughs> and it was on Now That's What I Call Music, which I owned as a child. What, the so first one? The, yes, the one without a number. Now That's What I Call Music. It mm. was, in fact, the second track of Now That's What I Call Music. And that's how I know nom, 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 that nom, it nom. came out when I was a child. So it's both nom, funny, nom, 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 Mike, and factual, which is nom, the best nom, kind nom, of joke. Nom, nom. That's the song that started Alex's wine addiction. I beat you to it, sorry. <laughs> red, red wine. Mm, 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 mm. It's a good song. So it was, now that's what I call too sick. <laughs> well, I also have now that's what I call too, music too. Um, both really on on like I don't know I'm holding it like that but you know an actual 12 LP? inch an LP yeah I have both of them the first now that's what I call music I owned mm. <clears throat> was from before from before my time I owned the two cassette yes now that's what I call music 10 wow and the, the key track on that was yes. Wipeout Wipeout and um, the other one the California thingy California Dreaming yeah maybe or California Dreaming or California Love no. or I can't remember Look I'm, out, I'm out of California songs Wipeout was the one maybe Wild Thing Wild Thing or maybe maybe the theme from Airwolf I'm not sure <laughs> Alex your Loki impression sounds more like Skeletor fuck me everything sounds like Skeletor with me <laughs> I am Skeletor you numbskull if Alex if Chess's face melts can we clip it Yes, you can. Can you clip it? Yes, you can. Released November 1983. Now, now one. one. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't born. Yeah, yeah. I just We got it for Christmas 1983. My, my parents gave it to all of the brothers, so we all just sat around listening. There's some great fucking tracks on that. Really great. The first track on that is You Can't Hurry Love by Phil Collins, the cover of a presumably um, Diana Ross's version of it or whatever. It's really good. It's really good. That first, that first. Now that's why I call music. It's a classic. Check it out. You've all got Spotify, whatever the fuck it. Find it. It's great. Merlot, is it me you're looking for? Doesn't work with Malbec, does it? Malbec. Yeah, papyrus. <laughs> We've had a wonderful time chatting in haps and naps. I'm just trying to find the time. A regular forty-four minutes, about forty-five minutes mark is normally Sounds how much about we do. It. Right. Yeah. But yeah. it's time for that segment that everyone's really grown to love. I mean, they're digging it. Mm. They can't get enough of it, particularly the intro. It's the, the section we like to call going viral. <laughs> Preemptive blurg. Jeez. Hashtag squash. <laughs> it's grown on me, that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's viral. This is what happens. Yeah. Um, this section is where we find viral videos and things that are viral and then we show you them hmm yes would you like to introduce the one that, that you got off your arse and found this week <laughs> yes I was really pleased that I got off my arse and found it because you know it's obviously otherwise you know all I bring is my sparkling wit and repartee and it's just not enough sometimes so I found this one today on the internet enjoy what is the internet <laughs> Alex <laughs> um yeah this one the internet is a wonderful wonderful thing that we all use every day and uh, I don't know where we'd be without it, but There'd certainly be less cats. There would be, there would be, yes. Uh, this one, I mean, it speaks for itself, really. So why don't we just play it, and then you can enjoy it. It doesn't speak at all, by the way. There's no sound, so we will provide the sound. You don't need to just watch it. You don't need to hear anything. Look I mean, the, we could probably present our own soundtrack. 
Was that person picking up? Look at this. She gets out and she paces the amount of spaces and then gets back into her car. The first time, she doesn't even properly. She paces out her own car as well, just to know how many lengths. Just to confirm. Look at that. You are that's far too deep enough. But we all know. The first time she doesn't. She no. She's too far back before she. She needs to turn earlier. She needs to turn earlier. I'll just let you watch this because I think you just need to watch it. We have a. An innocent bystander now trying to help her, but she does go in far too deep. Far too deep. Now she's on the curb. But even when she goes in too deep, she can fix it. She can. If she wasn't such a moron, all she would have to do is full lot right, pull forward, this little hug around. Like, ha ha, you did it. Good job. And now I'm fucking out of him. (laughs) 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 That bit at the end is the best bit. That blonde girl that helped her park, that's my kind of energy. <laughs> Fucking love that. Can't dry, can't reverse park, can't reverse park, can't reverse park. Um, can you? I can. I have to say, I think I'm pretty good at reverse parking. Um, it was something that irritated Isabeau uh, because um, she couldn't do it at all, and I did it every time, and it was amazing. I'm like my dad. My dad's really good at it I but am a I love reverse about... parking ninja I uh but what I love is yeah wait while well, you're parked I'm off and then just helps her out helps her out watches her helps her out and then just gets in her car and gives her all the space I in mean, the world let's be honest the, her problem was getting in close to the curb so even if the other car wasn't there I mean, like, if the other car hadn't been there, she, she still could have, have just gone in and hit gone, the curb, yeah, yeah, she and then she'd have just gone, gone back. up on the curb even further, probably, and fucked it up even worse. So you'd have imagined that she would have gone, she would have like gone up the road a little bit, and she then just reversed come straight backwards, and then just gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still, I do, I do have to make the bold statement: if you can't reverse park in this country, yeah, it doesn't matter in some countries like America. Who cares? Um, but if you can't reverse park in this country, you shouldn't drive. You gotta be able to do that because otherwise your car is just going to be stuck in the middle of the road forever. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do love that because she drives. drives away at the end. She drives away. She's like, they hug, they hug, and they hug. I you do know. love the celebration. Like, yay, you did it, you yeah, did it. Yeah, hug, 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 hug. hug. <laughs> and that's so. That's a jerky thing to do. It was never intended. Also, the woman kind of like looks at her like. Are you fucking serious, Are you for bro? Real? This could have been a clip, but am I the arse? Yeah, it could have, it could have been. Like, am I the arse? No, no, it's the person that doesn't fucking let me park where I am. There's several times like that where you're like, if you you're about you're trying to reverse into something and the person just waits, and I'm like, just if you're gonna go, go, because then I'll have more time rather than watch me. Is he gonna is he gonna reverse in? And then I park, and then the person moves out, and I'm like, mate, just fucking go. But anyway, want to become famous? You're gonna be famous in about Boy, two seconds. Boy, do time. I? Thank you very much. Um. Well, you know, I want to be famous. That's why I have to eat all this awful fucking shit. Mm. Speaking of which, yes, nice, nice segue. Unbelievable. Um, in keeping to a theme, you know, I like a theme. Mm-hmm. Uh, the second uh, portion of this going viral is more disgusting food shit. Yeah, Ooh. but uh, this time, I have provided you a selection of random foods mm. from other countries. So some are delicacies, some are just disgusting things that they've come okay. up with. We're going to go through them. Will you eat them, chat? Will you eat them, Alex? No. What do we? <laughs> I mean, yes, of course I will. I don't block. What do we? Uh, what do we? What do we think about them? I so, say yes. I try and say yes anyway. So our first one uh, comes from Alaska. Now that looks a bit like ice cream. Yes, let me just find the thing I need Akutak. to be able to progress when the time comes, and then I will tell you all about. That just looks like raspberry thing. and yeah. raisin ice cream. Okay, well, you know. Let's... What does anybody else think? It looks like ice cream with berries, yes. Let's do a little poll. This is Akutak. Would you eat this? What do you think? Well, you know, everything on this list is shit, so the answer should be no. But I will say yes, I like ice cream because you see, I. I'm going to pretend like I uh, I don't know what it is, which is also true. Let's see what you're saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I like ice cream, Jeremy. Mm. I'm happy to eat it. It is not ice cream, says Mike, with the well, wisdom of someone who understands how the segment works. Akutak actually means Eskimo ice cream. Oh, so I was right. 
which can sound sweet and creamy, oh. but it isn't. It is made up of reindeer fat, seal oil, and freshly fallen slow, slow snow, berries, and ground fish. Well, I mean, so it's a meaty ice cream. Yes, it's a fish, fish, fishy, fishy oily fishy, fishy, ice cream. Fishy. I, mm, I wonder how that tastes because. It doesn't look as bad, given that the, the they put berries is just, in it. Yeah. So, I mean, what is Love. ice cream basically? Ice cream is basically just like cream, right? Yes. Which is kind of an a, a frozen fat of and, some kind. Yes. So it's all the same. Yeah. I think I'm fine with that one. I would try this. Yes. I might not enjoy it, but I would try it. No, to, to fishy ice cream. It's also reindeery ice cream. There's only a small component. It's, it's fish. reindeer fat. Yeah. Reindeer. Fish and seal. Not, not the singer. What's the si Don't sit on the seal. Whatever we said. Um, I'd go with no, but I might try a tiny taste just for the experience. Yeah. I mean, yeah, tiny taste. Yeah. Um, you ready for the next one? Pass, says Tamsanaki. Okay. I'd eat it with you, Alex. Jaeger, what a dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. This is uh, Baloo. Uh, Baloo is from the Philippines. It is a developing duck embryo, boiled alive and then eaten whole from its shell. It tastes like a regular boiled egg with duck broth and an extra crunch inside from the half-formed duckling's bones. This was the least offensive trigger warning-y photo that I could find. The other ones were people... It's basically just a fucking duck fetus in their hands. It just looks awful. Oh my god, that does look horrible. By the way, when they said it tastes like a boiled egg, and I'm going to go out on a limb here and say I like boiled eggs. Yes, really I quite mean, a lot. it is a boiled egg. It's just more developed than your average boiled egg. It does not look like something you should eat, and plus it has crunchy little bones in it. But, you know, Baloo, named after the bear, the bear from uh, the Jungle Book, if I'm not mistaken. It has a beak. Yeah, extra crunch. Mike, that's what it's for. It has a beak. It has a beak. No, we're never going to eat that. <laughs> no, we're never going to eat that. Unless we get a little crazy. Which is in reference to the seal thing. Um, uh, I dig that. I was wondering where we're going to go with that. Uh, I'm glad you found your way there. Mount S, welcome. It does look disgusting. That does look disgusting. You're in the segment. And I, I don't know whether you uh, heard the description. And it uh, sounds disgusting. I don't want to eat that at all. No. 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 no I'm no, fine with... Uh, freaky ice cream I'm not okay with crunchy egg and that's kind of the theme here some, are, some you'll want some you won't okay here's the next one on we bloody stumble uh, the next oh. is from Korea Biondegi it's called Biondegi they are steamed or boiled silkworm pupae seasoned and eaten as a snack it is said to taste like a mixture of raw chestnuts cooked soybeans and mushrooms or wet bark from a tree no, I've not eaten wet bark from a tree. Have no, you eaten wet I, bark uh, from a tree? No, I have not. Although, um, one time I fell into a tree uh, when I was climbing the tree and a bit got in bit my mouth. Tree. Yeah, a bit of tree. So, I mean, but I don't remember the taste of it. You bit a bit of tree. Mm. Was it bitter? Uh, it was. It was not happy with me for quite some time. We, in the end, it blew down in a storm, so fuck it. But, um, always beak chatting. <laughs> I, also... <laughs> <laughs> I giggled at that one to myself when I first thought, always beak chatting is good. Um, this looks horrible. Because it looks like little beetles. It looks yes. like kind of. It basically they... is little beetle, beetles. It's like baby beetles. Like you'd have on "I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here." Mm. But, um, but the the thing about it is, <clears throat> yes. this isn't just a you know a they only have it to be weird type thing in Korea. They have this just a lot. Like street vendors sell this everywhere, and like. Well, here's the thing. I like chestnuts roasting on over an, an open fire. Indeed. Mm. And I can see immediately as I look at it where they're getting that from. I don't like mushrooms, but I think of if I was going to have to eat something on this and it wasn't the ice cream thing, I reckon I could give one of these a go. It would probably be pretty horrible, but I could probably give this a go. Yeah. I will try one, says Tamsanaki. I, <laughs> I it's saw weird something seeing where people's lines are. Like... I think people mostly... I mean, look at this. Gobbling tea power. I think I'd try one. I've had cricket flower brownies before. So, were there whole crickets in there or were they ground down so you could probably ground if it's a flower, yeah. Mm, you'd imagine. But that didn't cost 39p. I bet you it did not. You can get that in Waitrose. This, I think we're all kind of okay. I ate a live octopus in Korea. A live? A live O. <laughs> Why I doesn't the octopus, octopus speak English? Wait, what's, what's the joke? I don't remember. 
Um, <laughs> why doesn't the Why doesn't an octopus talk? Because fucking Duff ate it. Because it's an octopus. Um, Thanks, honey. Uh, yeah, so Beyond Eggy seems to be a hit. Yeah. People want this. Yes. You, you well, I, don't, even, I think want might be going a bit. You might even <laughs> take a sauce of your choice to uh, to dip it in. I don't know. Yeah, garlic, garlic. So this yeah, might yeah. be familiar to some people. It looks like haggis. Oh, it is haggis. It is haggis. Okay, oh, and uh, this is just thrown in there to you know see what people think of it, and for uh, any non-British people. Now who... I like that you've thrown in haggis because mm. you could have gone into a direction of saying like all terrible, horrific shit, but now you brought in something which, like you rightly say could still split opinions yes and so those who don't know haggis from scotland is a sheep's stomach stuffed mm-hmm. with sheep's liver lungs and heart onions oatmeal and other spices this is simmered for three hours let me say now it's a bit kind of black puddingy but less kind of condensed <laughs> right <laughs> haggis is lovely haggis is lovely i love haggis i think haggis is tasty as fuck. i've never eaten it I think you have to say... <laughs> Arcade Sam, welcome. I feel it's appropriate that my first message on this channel is this. As a Scottish person, I highly dislike haggis. There you've got it And here. that is the story I've heard a lot from the people of that Scotland. That is the It's mostly track. fucking tourist dickheads that like haggis. Oh, I love it. I think it's really tasty. It's like peppery and the spices in it. Every time I have it... One time I went to... Years ago, I was going out with this girl, um, Katie, and we went up to... Uh, Edinburgh mm. we stayed at a little B&B and every morning they gave us a Scottish breakfast with all these little bits of haggis and other bits <laughs> was it just haggis here's your Scottish breakfast <laughs> good Scottish impression ha- haggis uh, oh right okay cool what's for lunch uh, well that will be the haggis you don't uh, eat now <laughs> I wish it was that unfortunately we were in town by that point it was lovely I had it again this most recent time when we were at the Edinburgh Festival when we were allowed to go I love haggis I think haggis I would buy I love haggis I'm just saying <laughs> I've had it. I'm not a big fan. And obviously, Arcade doesn't like it. Mm. Fucking hell, X throw back. I, that... I, I was gearing up to say, but I thought I'd let him finish his thought. It's like, we we find an opportunity on every Don't Get Me Started for Alex to mention another of his ex girlfriends. Mm-hmm. I do it just for, just for the lols. For the drinks. Mm-hmm. But I did go there with Katie, whom you know. Uh, Goblin Tea Power. Vegetarian haggis is just as good though because it's all about the spices. Well, wow. it does. It is that taste. That taste is really so good. So if you don't like actual haggis, then maybe give the vegetarian one a, a try. Because the things that you could perceive to be offensive about this is the fact that it's liver, lungs, and heart. Right? I just don't even. And the that. and the sheep's stomach. Oh, it's so good. What's it wrapped with? If it's vegetarian, what do they use instead? Is it like a leaf? It's a good question. That's all vegetarians eat, right? It's going to be leaf <laughs> stuffed with leaf, uh, leaf and spices. I can believe that. And a leaf for garnish. My family likes it. There's a place around Fife that does haggis everything. So burgers with it, nachos with it, lasagna. I like the sound of that. Cool. I mean, I... No, I've never been to Scotland. It hasn't happened so far. So one day... One day... Isn't traditional Scottish breakfast just... I am brewing a deep fried Mars bar. It can be. Although when we went up to Edinburgh in 2019 for the festival... When we went to the Airbnb, they left they left us some Edinburgh gin and some urn brew. Urn. Urn. Made in Scotland. Urn, urn. Uh, and And a Tunnock's tea cake, and it was very lovely. I will try it, says Tamsinaki. I have eaten bollocks after all. <laughs> so well, sexy. phrasing, dear. Um, um, yeah, I mean, I think, it's, I, I think this is really just an easy sell for everybody. I really yeah, feel... Yeah, I, I would give it a go. I couldn't promise you I'd finish the whole thing. They look fairly substantial. Wait. The most disgusting thing I've ever eaten was stuffed vine leaves. What the fuck? That's just like rice in vine leaves. How is that the most disgusting thing you've ever... Have you not seen what's on this list? It's leaves, man. Vine leaves are I'm, fucking tasty. I'm with Mama S. Leaves are fucking... Why That's like you... super I don't Greek, understand isn't it? vegetarians. There's too much leaves. Deep fried Mars bars are amazing. I never had one of those. I will leaf it, mate. Um, Take it or leaf it. Oh, that's just a proper throwback. I remember her from when I was little. There you go. Or rather, I remember her name. Fame! Um... Alex can't talk about the state of anyone's arteries after the dodeca cheese tron. Well, I'm fine. Can't wait for my dodeca cheese tron. Yeah. You, you can I keep, keep saying you, tron. I'm going to make it into some kind of robot. <laughs> Someone can race you in a cut in a bike. <laughs> I am a dodeca cheese tron tron. Please do not eat me. Fuck you. Right. Haggis is great. I'm glad we spent some time on it. I want some haggis right now. Well, 
You oh, can't shit. have some. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's here tonight, well, Alex. Ha- have some crisps and pretend they're haggis. I will try. Mm. On we bloodly stumble to something we won't eat. Oh, maybe we will. Bloodily. So, you know, throwing this out there. Uh, kangaroo steaks from Alaska. No, obviously not. Australia. Australia, mate. Uh, kangaroo meat is thought to taste like a cross between venison and buffalo meat. I have had a kangaroo steak. Have you? I have. Where did you procure a kangaroo I, steak? Well, they a while ago, Chambers used to do a steak night, and every week they would bring forth a different steak. And for a while, they got quite a lot of interesting steaks. So one, and they had kangaroo steak, and I had one. I couldn't tell you much about it, but I did like it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, I'm told in my research for this that the best kangaroo steak in the UK, yes, is in Manchester. Okay. Well, off we go. Hmm. I would definitely try it. I would have to have it more done than that, though, because the idea of that kind of cook on a steak is disgusting. I have to say, that's my jam. I like that. It it pretty much is jam, yeah. It's just squishy and (laughs) horrible inside. Yeah. We are, again, we're very different people, but that is how I like my steak. That is not cooked. No, you're right. (laughs) That is the illusion of cooked. It is. It's only small. The outside is cooked, though. There there is actually blood oozing onto the, the cutting board, yeah. Yeah. I wonder if I can ever change your mind on that. Do you think? I, I don't think you will ever change my mind on that. I didn't always think that either. No. I came to that decision. Ostrich is tasty. Tasty. Very, very tasty. It's very tasty. You missed out some tasties there, Mike. Yeah, that's not cooked. It is. It's, it's not, just not enough. No, it's not cooked. <laughs> cooked Cooked means all the way through. No, you don't want it like that. Yeah, you do. Maybe. Do you have it well done? I do have well done. Maybe we can bring you down on that. I mean, I do, fuck it. I don't. Why am I trying to convince you of doing something you don't like? <laughs> but I just, I don't know. Um, perfect steak Duff agrees with me I'm very particular about a well done as well because like the the, the people who yeah there you go people are, it's one step above bouncing off off, off the slab <laughs> like so there, there are two types of people the people who like ridicule rare eaters for like yeah it's still moving <laughs> and then there's the other end it's like oh well you might as well just fucking like knock it off the wall it's just a piece of tile yeah it's yeah like, if you are having like horrible well done steak and it's just hard then you've gone to a bad chef um, a good chef can cook a proper well done steak and it still be soft and nice on the inside I in used, the same way I used to have medium rare but actually cooked you know not fake cooked I used to have medium rare all the time and I really quite quite like medium rare or somewhere that was in the between everything and there's a line in the mystery line in mystery men with a bit of Ben Stiller well the line must be drawn here the line is drawn here this far and no, no further. further. Um, jinx. Anyway, um, so, yeah, and in that, he, because he's being a horrendous dickhead, is Ben Stiller's character in that, he, he says to the waiter, um, I want it medium rare, that means pink, not bloody. And it's just a quote that just got quoted every time we had steak. I want it medium rare, that means pink, not bloody. And it just kind of, <clears throat> I mean, you couldn't really say that to an actual waiter. Because <laughs> it is so unbelievably rude. Yes. But yeah, I quite like medium rare. But then I I graduated to rare. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Walk the cow through a lightly heated corridor and bring it to me. I want it so rare a skilled surgeon could still save it. <laughs> I like that we're getting into this here. This is a fun little conversation. I had this uh, argument on my local BBC station a few weeks ago. Gordon Ramsay said it's a skill and he knows cooking. Yes. Well, he does. I have seen several Gordon Ramsay uh, cooking things where <clears throat> this is still lingering today the, this time you have to let it linger do you have uh, to yeah Gordon Ramsay can cook a proper well done steak but you know he is arguably the best chef in the world so. he is great I mean I don't think that it, I don't think that a well done steak is bad if someone served it to me I'd be fine but I just don't want it no I can I can eat a medium at a push but other than that just like no it just just feels like I'm eating cartilage it's disgusting it, I mean what I've discovered in well the the rare stuff for me should be really melt in the mouth rare like it should just kind of like you cut this thing off and it cuts off really nicely and you put it in your mouth and it just like really melts away and it's really the really good That's rare because it's not actually meat it's just blood into my mouth and then, then it, it oozes down my you might as well just go and buy a blood pack and just mm. drink the, the blood pack if that's your jam hit me with your blood pack I like the actual meat to quote Gordon <laughs> Ramsay it's fucking raw <laughs> so I think that was a pretty much unanimous yes on the kangaroo we still we all, one way or another we're going to get it we're going to find you we're going to cook you cook you cook you 
to temperature. And that's how we found out Alex is a vampire. Yeah, Toriador, baby, all the way. A few vampires in here, apparently. Yeah. Okay, next. Now, we're going to... Stargazy Pie. Ooh. So, we are coming a bit closer to home now. I at home in England. Uh, this is a traditional pie from Mouse Hole, apparently oh, pronounced Mousel, Mouse Hole. in is Cornwall. Cornwall, yes. Uh, in honour of a fisherman who had fished alone during a stormy weather. It's a terrible sentence, but that's what it says. Uh, so they, there are fish heads sticking out the side of this pie, and it is a fish pie. Fish pie with fish heads. What do you think? I don't want to eat something where I can see the heads, but I quite like a fish pie. Oh, so you'll eat a cow that's that's barely cooked, but I don't have to see. I don't have to see its head. Well, you should. Its head's not. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's weird looking at them. One time it we would be like stars in your eyes, and here is the cow <laughs> you'll be eating tonight. Oh. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be a rare steak. Off you go, Bessie, <laughs> through the gut, through the curtain. A, have, you not seen, have you seen the rest of the run at the end of the universe bit in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where the cow comes up and is like lying there suggesting bits that he's going to be... It's like, you should try my rump. It's very juicy. Um, I have not. Because that's a bit like that. They, they parody it in The Simpsons, though, and I've seen that. Oh, okay. Well, I went to Brighton one time and we had white bait. And white bait, as I understand it, is tiny, tiny little fish, right? And I was, t- I said, I want to try something interesting. So someone, someone said, try the white bait. I don't want to say who it was after drink, and um, try the white bait. And I was like, what is it? And they're like, it's little kind of like, like kind of little tiny fish. But it's like breadcrumbed fish. And I'm like, well, I like breadcrumbed fish. I'll have that. But I didn't know it's like tiny fish, and it all came out all bread, all battered. So it was like, I don't know, forty of these little white bait. But I just thought it was bits of fish that have been chopped up like little tiny fish fingers. I didn't know they were individual fish that I could shoot in a barrel. Um, <laughs> And then they were like, oh, I'm very impressed, Alex, that you're eating that. And I said, yeah. I said, I'm loving it. It tastes really good. And I said, because you can see the little eyes and the little faces. And I didn't think you liked that. And up until that point, I had not been able to see the little Got eyes. Got magnifying glass. As soon as I looked closer, oh, yes. I could see all the eyes looking up at me. And I'm like, yeah, that's it. I've done. Just looking up at you. Uh, fuck that shit. In a similar way, I don't want to. Oh, no. I just can't. <laughs> this feels very eldritch horror, doesn't it? That fucking thing should be an elder sign on the top of it for those Cthulhu lovers in the stream which is might be just me and Joe um, it does doesn't it I don't think I want to eat that I like a fish pie that's just like cod and vegetables and carrots and a big kind of nice white sauce I mean I'd try it but I wouldn't eat the the heads no I, I think I'm with you I don't know if you're supposed to eat the heads or not I think it is purely for decoration slash to freak yeah, you out yeah 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 but I'd, I'd, give Sold. The, I'd give the middle of the pie a go Fish heads, fish heads, fishy, fishy, fish heads. That star should be a pentacle. It should. Our Lord Cthulhu descends. Okay, so Jaeger obviously also knows about Cthulhu. In Japan, I used to eat school lunch with the kids. One day, they had the full fish. I didn't think about it. And then afterwards, one of my co-workers said, Huh, I didn't think Westerners liked the fish with all its children inside. And I went, What now? All the bones are in the middle. Uh, out, 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 out. Ah. Oh my god, that's a good story. I don't think fish have got loads of tiny bones. How do they sit there and just eat it for lunch and not like choke, choke on tiny death. bones? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but they're tiny bones. You crunch them up, huh. like in the Balu, where you just crunch up where them. Just, li- uh. it's li- all it is in the Balu is. I don't bo- think I need to eat bones. Actually, I think no. I think the bones is probably where I draw the line. I don't know about anybody else. But, like, are the bones so small and crunchy, it's a bit like eating a crunchy topping? Well, the only basis I have of bone knowledge is when, you know... <laughs> you get a... When children are being formed, in a, in a lady, when children are being formed, they're, and when they are born, yes, yes. their bones are not solid no. for the first, like, six, six to eight months yes. of their life. Yes. So I assume... Yes. It's going to be the same in the animal kingdom. So probably soft bones until birth. So it's got a, a slight... They're like al dente. <laughs> <laughs> al dente. <laughs> al dente bone. Al dente bones. Uh, grind their bones to make your bread. That's well, now the euphemism I'm going to, lo- going to use for a, uh, for a semi... <laughs> Al dente. Uh, al dente bone. I'm al dente at the moment. Al dente bone. D- bite it. Find out what you think. 
<laughs> it should be, you know, so slightly hard to the bite. It's like crisp. It's like crisp. Oh dear. Oh, prepare for bone knowledge. <laughs> no to <laughs> eggs. Yes to fish. How many more of these are there? Because I'm really enjoying it. Uh, there is. Well, I have limited them to seven in total today, but there are more. And if we like this, That's I'll fancy. bring it back next week I'm have to come with, up with, with some more things. Okay, so, uh, so here's our last one. Oh, fuck off. This comes from Japan. They are wasp crackers. The, I don't know what else to tell you. The clues in the name, really. Yep. They can be bought in the Japanese town of Omachi, mm -hmm. just 100 miles outside of Tokyo. Okay, so I think what's happened here is they've just basically... Baked some wasps into a biscuit. I can only presume that, like many great happy accidents, a wasp flew into a biscuit <clears throat> shop one day and it landed in the cracker. <sighs> And they went, we should throw that away. And they went, no, don't throw it away. Let's sell it. And then they did. And a fortune was made. No. No <laughs> says Goblin Tipper. No to Wasp Jenny. Can, Hell can no to clarify? Can, can, clarify? See what I did there? <laughs> First thing. Accidentally. Nothing could possibly go wrong. We do need the punchline of Alex having to eat one or all of these, though. He wouldn't let it lie. It's not really a punchline. Like, I would, I would be happy to maybe try something not... Holy one or all of these I'm happy to eat the haggis yeah, but, there you go but in the place like we'll do a, a travelling don't get me started one day and <laughs> second, we'll eat, eat the thing second helpings of this segment well we're going to have to do it again because it has yeah. been really good yeah. okay back next week or the week yeah, after yeah, or yeah. whatever no to wasps unless they're eating a tiny bit of bacon you've dropped on the floor then they're kind of adorable is that did that that's happen that's a very specific that sounds like that happens to goblin want need happening I do not like wasps. I will eat them. Yes, I will eat them as revenge. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, wasp. I don't know that I really want to bite into one. What if it do not get stung from its stingy tail? You'd assume so, because... Um, no. Wasp stings die when they're dead, but bees ones don't, I think. Or maybe it's the other way around. Do you know what? That's probably how David Attenborough started. Some knowledge <laughs> imparted to you... <gasps> Look it up along with the Dallas theme. There we go. I just think that surely it's... I mean, I reckon you're just going to get stung. Mm. It's like... Oh, my God. I can't imagine. I, I don't want one. I don't want one. I don't want one. I, I want once one. knelt on a wasp. <laughs> and I didn't realise what it was that was causing my leg pain. Uh-huh. Um, I was, I was quite young. And I was staying with my granddad. And we were working on his model railway. Uh-huh. Oh, and I thought that I had knelt on oh, like, one of his... He's got like a... It's not a screwdriver, but it's like a screwdriver, but it's just a spike. Yeah, sure. For like pushing points and testing things and that kind of thing. Yes, I understand what you're and saying. And I thought, as I had a sharp pain in my leg, oh, I think I've knelt, knelt on, on his a... spiky screwdriver yes. thing. But uh, moved, couldn't see anything, so knelt back in the exact same place. Uh -huh. And then pain again. I'm like, oh, okay, weird. And then, a second time. And a second time. Unbelievable. And then I look, and then and so I move. I'm like, no, something is definitely hurting me. I'm gonna like completely stand up and have a look. And I look on the floor, and there is this wasp, like, ass up, <laughs> and it's just with its stinger, just going. <laughs> I don't know if it's dead at this point. And it's just a reflex, it's just going. The reflex. It's totally like ass up, just. Fucking, fucking going for it yeah how many yeah, times you get it stung it got me stung twice it stung me twice I was like seven <laughs> and I'm like what is this fucking thing that's hurting my leg I'm like ow ow I got stung from a bumblebee in between my fingers when I was on top of my slide in my in my house in Marla Road just from where, from where you live yeah. and I was like this thing flew towards me and I batted it away and it stung me I've stung, been stung from a wasp I uh, stung from a, a bee a couple of times I've never been stung by a bee I've never been stung by a wasp oh. and, you well know, between us we're, we've, we've, we've got we've, a bingo card okay um, however you hear stories at school that some people are allergic deathly allergic to wasp stings lol fuck and those people I know oh, right I, and it could be me but I don't know it if I am. It could be you. <laughs> so you get your fucking sting away from me. Um, <laughs> but I don't know because I've never been stung off a wasp. And ever since, I've been like massively freaked out by the whole thing. Right, well, that's something to do this summer. Let's get stung by a wasp. <laughs> Would it be stingier than those crisps? Jez. Well, they both have the same kind of effect on me. It's like, eh. <laughs> Lynn, I got my foot on a spike. <laughs> Bring on the wasps! Oh, fuck the wasps. Fuck the wasps. So, 
to conclude, mm-hmm. do we eat the wasps or fuck the wasps? No, I don't want one. I'll have one. I have to say, there's a lot of no's in the chat here. I mean, I know I said I'd eat the Beyondego or whatever it is, those kind of like little, but I don't want them. I don't want insects. I have to say. Uh, Beyondegi. Yeah. That's close. Um, I don't, that wasn't fuck but bad. I was trying to be accepting, but insects can kind of fuck off as far as I'm concerned. I would try them. I would try most of this stuff. As long as they cook the kangaroo steak, I would uh, try that. Definitely don't fuck a wasp. I want to make a joke about this, but I can't. I'd try it all, actually. And, and, oh, except for the baloo. Fuck that. Yeah. Baloo can fuck I'm off. not eating an embryo. There is no part of me that wants to eat an embryo. No. <clears throat> I had a nail go through my foot growing up. Mm. Mm. Did it go through the fleshy bit? How did that happen? Do you nail yourself or do you step on a nail? I want to know. So Jez is trying Baloo. Alex is trying the bugs. He's very quick to volunteer people, isn't he? I know. He doesn't volunteer himself, though. No, no. Actually, you know, in a way, I'd have more respect for Mike if he were to take one of these things on be as like, well. like, I'll eat that with you. Yeah. Yeah. He'd, probably that would get the job done. That would. If, if, when you think about negotiating, how are you going to get this, this yeah. situation? I, I would hazard to say that you would even have a go of Sostroming if he was willing to join in with you. I probably would, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it would be if so horrible for all it of us. It could be a shared experience. Someone's got to stand there and laugh at you. Hey, we're streaming this. Hey, yeah, we've got plenty of people to laugh at us, mate. Um... Oh my goodness, these crisps are good. Let me just have a little... So that was a great segment. I really enjoyed that. Good. Well, I'll bring it back. Bring it all back. Let's play that segment intro again that everyone loves because we went viral. Squelchy, squelchy, squelch, squelch. Beautiful. Beautiful. Would you eat that sting? That's the question. Don't stand so... I would not eat the sting. What about Sting from, as in, and the police? Oh, uh, no. Would you eat him? I, I, I wouldn't eat him, but I would eat Sting. Um, the wrestler. The wrestler from WCW, yes. You might get some paint in your teeth, though. But yeah, I'm okay with that. Woo! I would also eat the film, The Sting, with Robert Redford and Paul Newman. In what format? Uh, on VHS, mm. if that's okay. Tasty. Mm-hmm. Crunchy. Mm. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so many things we would eat we would eat happy days um because i'm an entertainer at the at i at, when it when it comes down to it effectively a professional entertainer i am yes he has received a bit i have received a bit mm. um <laughs> the sting is the greatest heist movie ever don't at me <laughs> it is a great heist movie and that's really why you'd eat it yeah 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 you're not gonna eat any movie you only eat the movies you like. Do, 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 do. Alex would not eat all of the stings. No. No. He's very specific. Yes. What is Sting's real name? Gordon something? Someone must know what Sting's real Sting and the police. Sting's mm. real name. Gordon Sumnall? Gordon... I thought it was Keith. Who knows? Someone will know the answer. Normally Mike. Gordon E. Sumner. Oh, there you go. There we- hey, I was close. And Sting the wrestler is Steve Borden. Is it? That's his name. Oh yeah. my god, he was in the. Um, you he, clearly have not watched B movie. You're right. <laughs> he was in a couple of movies in between that time where he WCW closed, but he was still under contract to Turner for like another five years afterwards. So they just put him in a bunch of B movies, <laughs> and that was always in the trailer. Like, Steve Sting Borden in <laughs> this shit movie. No one's gonna fucking watch. No one knows because they can't stand so. Stand so, stand so close to him. That is true. And I like that song. I've got to get more wine. I don't feel I'm pouring enough in the glass because I'm drinking it. That's generally how not having enough drink works, yeah. No. So if you fill the glass... Yes. Or get rid of the glass, yes. just bring the bottle back yes. and I've drink got a, it from I, the I could. That would be so horrible. Um, right. We've done well here, but we've got to go into a segment... What time is it? How Good are we doing? Question. Are we, uh, t- t- we've got nothing else to do we can keep going on yeah who gives a fuck yeah. people seem to be enjoying it well I don't know I, they're not in the room but such is my understanding shall we go into a, another segment yes and I will introduce it while you go get a wine oh how wonderful so this segment you know, requires your involvement because it's the segment that we like to call haters gone hate fuck this shit I'm out Mm-mm. fuck this shit I'm out no thanks 
and hate is going to hate is the segment in which you suggest things that we have to hate on whether we like them or not and it's even better if we do like them Mm. so send us on a rant give us your suggestions what would you like us to hate on Godzilla okay I will take that fine don't get me started on Godzilla. The dude's basically just a giant fucking lizard. Who gives a fuck about a giant fucking lizard, man? It's true. And this lizard was just the result of some nuclear fucking accident in the original movie. Yeah. And the whole thing was supposed to be some kind of statement against, you know, nuclear testing and all that kind of stuff. But let's be honest, the nuclear testing happened be- as a result of the people that made the fucking movie. <laughs> like... I'm sorry, but the World War Two was ended with a nuclear bomb, and it's just kind of a bit petty to turn around and say, "Hey, you shouldn't use that nuclear stuff. You, sh- you shouldn't shouldn't do it. <laughs> Don't you shouldn't be doing the nuclear stuff." Here's a fucking giant lizard. That'll learn you. Oh uh, yeah. We made we made a fucking movie about a giant lizard just to teach you a lesson. Lizard, yeah. which then destroyed even more stuff. It just yeah. Well, it it. Joke's on them. It didn't even fucking leave Japan. <laughs> it got out of the sea, fucked up Japan, got back in the sea. And then every now and again, it got back out of the sea again. Found some other, like, mutant freaks. Like a giant moth and a fucking giant mechanical lizard somehow. I don't know how that turned from nuclear. I know you're things. hating on this, but I can't help feeling... Is it true that aren't all mm-hmm. Godzilla films basically the same film? I mean, are we just doing variations on the same theme and nothing fresh? Basically, yeah. It's just the same... The same giant lizard fighting something else as it goes. Um, sometimes he's the one doing the fucking. Sometimes he's preventing the fucking. Um, he is either <laughs> he's either fucker or cock block in all of these films. It's got a bit sexy. And then like the this. Americans got a hold of it in the nineties, um, which is basically giant nuclear lizards with shit CGI. <laughs> so can you not put Godzilla in the sea? No, he fucking loves the sea. That's where he lives. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We've got to think about this. There are certain things we can't put in the sea. Like yeah. fish. I mean, the only Godzilla thing I can't hate on is the, the 2014 Godzilla movie because it had Brian Cranston in it. And you can't hate on Brian Cranston. No. That's the law. And you can't hate that. That's the law. <laughs> so, yeah, fuck Godzilla. Fuck Godzilla. Lizard prick. I don't know very much about Godzilla, although when I was a child, I used to watch a Godzilla cartoon and there, he had yeah, a little side cook. a Godzilla cook. cartoon. Yeah, the side it? cook. <laughs> Side cook. He had His a little name coast- was, was Chef. <laughs> he went on to join the cast of South Park. It was he and had. Then he died. He had a little cartoon, and basically these guys went around on a boat, and then occasionally they'd run into trouble from pirates or some shit, and then they have a a, a thing <laughs> oh, with the God, Godzilla versus the pirates. Whatever they wrote, they, they were went really around, running out of budget that time. And it was this cartoon. I did really enjoy it. Watch it all the time. And this guy was like, shit, we're in trouble. We need to kill God, kill Godzilla? Call Godzilla. And they just had beep one boop, button. Beep, no, 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 no. <laughs> it was just one box with a red button and an antenna. And that was it. And he'd just go, click. And it, and he, and that would... What happened under the sea with the, like, alarms? Like, brrr, yeah, basically, brrr. it sent out this signal. And it's like... Beep, 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 beep. Was it like when, you, when they went to call on Goldberg backstage? It's like... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> Mr. Godzilla, do, sir. Do, do, Mr. Do, Godzilla, do, sir. It's time. It's the do 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 And he kind of comes out and all these fireworks go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he just squashes the enemy in about three seconds. And then kind of does he stick his tongue out? I can't remember. Probably. Um, Godzilla. He pressed the button. I don't know what understanding. Godzilla pressed the button. Yeah. <laughs> and another Godzilla came out. <laughs> it was just like a hall of mirrors. Hall, hall of Godzillas. Margaret. Margaret! Godzilla needs another button. He fucking smashed it again. (laughs) I don't understand how the captain of this ship had... There was no backstory, indeed. A backstory (laughs) to this that allowed us to understand why he had a box with a button on it. But whenever he pressed it, Godzilla... Well, obviously, Godzilla gave it to him. Here you are, are, Steve. If you're ever in trouble, push this button. (laughs) I constructed it with my giant lizard hands. How would he even do it? Why does it exist? Best bit about this... Godzilla has a little tiny amusing scrappy do esque friend called Godzuki <laughs> who comes around you've gotta you've gotta watch it anyway and then Godzuki comes around and like flies like a anyway. Maybe Godzuki made the button if he's smaller. Uh, Godzuki's he's the, an idiot. He's the dexterous of the pair, perhaps. Godzuki's like a a, 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 a flummoxy child, doesn't know what they're doing. And it kind of gets into trouble and Godzilla's like, Ugh. Anyway, that's all I remember. 
So we need a suggestion for uh, always be chatting now. What do you want him to hate on? I think I have to hate on homemade pasta because that was an okay, okay, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, cool. I will do uh, that. Welcome, Evan. Welcome, Evan. Yes, yes, yes. Seen you in a while. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, come along on Thursdays. So we're playing Undertale again. Um, homemade pasta. Now it's confusing for you, I know, because I was just saying earlier how much I loved it, but that was a lie. I fucking hate it. Don't get me started on homemade pasta. What a waste of fucking time. Such a fucking pro. I am a prick. That's a pro. Oh. You are a pro. <laughs> I thought you were saying you're such a pro. I'm like, I presume, but I am a pro. You're right. Um, well, I mean, when you're right, you're right. <laughs> and you, you're always right. Um, yeah. I mean, what the hell? I like food to be quick. Like, I just told you the cost... <laughs> the cost benefits of... I love that statement. <laughs> I like box made pasta. <laughs> Don't just... <laughs> Fuck this homemade shit, it's effort. Just buy the box. <laughs> this is it! This is this is it. Um I've got <laughs> Yeah. Ultimately, I've given you the cost benefits of um of making your own pasta. It's super fucking cheap because ultimately 200 grams of pasta will make enough food for 400 people. 400? 400, 400 people? Oh my god, that's amazing. For four people. And that's only going to cost you about 10p plus eggs. So it's super, super cheap. And it looks so fun to do. But actually, it's just a fucking waste of your time. It covers your kitchen in flour, food processor stuff, eggshells, shit. Couldn't you have just bought some homemade pasta? By the way, the thing that I got from Duncan the Singer only has two options on it, which is spaghetti or tagliatelle. So if I want to make ravioli, if I want to make tortellini, if I want to make any filled pasta, I still have to cut it out myself, make something, put it in, fold it up. What a waste of fucking time. Box made pasta, bag made pasta, box or bag, is it's easier. By the way, what's the point? What's the point? Pasta is not so expensive that we can't just fucking buy it, right? Pasta is not so super expensive that we need to save that money, right? That's what I'm saying to you. It's a lovely device to have and it's fun to wind the handle. But ultimately, it's another thing that you need to find space for in your kitchen. It's another thing you need to have on a counter. It's another thing you need to take off the counter and find a place for. It's a clunky, big hunk of metal that wastes your fucking time when all you can do, well, all you should do, is just go and fucking buy the pasta you want for super cheap and just fucking eat it. And it's the same! What are we? Don't get me started on pasta. I'm still going over the fact that you called me a pro. I liked it very much, enjoyed it. But pro, prick. I'm a professional. I mean, I'm not prick. sure why you give a fuck about my opinion at all, to be honest. But <laughs> but if hey, if me calling you a pro makes it happy, makes you happy, then it means something to me. Then yeah. take it. Cool. Cost of food processor. Oh yeah, cost of food processor. You have to get something to mix it, otherwise you're mixing it by hand. That takes even longer. Blimey, making that run for Pope with that pasta feeds four hundred. <laughs> oh yeah, you better believe it. And the votes are in. The ultimate form of pasta comes in a bag. I ultimately missed that, but what was that? Is that Evan and Jaeger going on? They were arguing about whether pasta is better from a box or a bag. Which is really a regional difference, I I would suggest. You can get a bag of tagliatelle, can't you? You can get get pasta in this country mostly comes in bags. Mm. Unless you buy like lasagna sheets. Then lasagna comes in a box. Sometimes you get a spaghetti in a box. But it's as mostly well. like macaroni and is mm. the main, I mean, main it's just pasta packaging. choice in the States. I mean, does it really matter? Yeah. Mm. Well, um, I hate. Mm. You're welcome, Tamsin. I don't know what for, but thank you for saying thank you. How about we come to a standstill and say box? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly one of the finest things Evan said. Yeah. How, we, how about we agree to disagree and <laughs> agree with me that and I'm say right? Box. <laughs> We don't, we don't, I mean... I voted box. Bag! Just, just for the lols. <laughs> I never knew this would... How, like, there was argument about all, anything Of all the things that we can fucking get started on on Don't Get Me Started, it's pasta in a box or a bag. They have both on the shelves. It depends what you're trying to box. Some things are fragile. They need to be in a box. They can't be in a bag. Spaghetti is often in a bag, although it was cheaper the Napolina stuff was in a box so you can get spaghetti in a bag or spaghetti in a box tagliatelle in a bag sp- tagliatelle in a box so you can get a- what the fuck's wrong with you now to be that prick because you know I am oh yes a, a professional. box would be far better for the environment than a bag yes because it would be pasta- cardboard and you because could- you can recycle it yeah. a lot easier and it's more sustainable so all pasta should come in a box 
I think box feels better for yeah. pasta. Yeah, you're wrong, mate. Let's all yeah. do let's all do box pasta. Box bag, box bag. <laughs> do, 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 do. Put it this way: no one does beat bagging, do they? So, <laughs> et think to about... cock. <laughs> Listen, I don't feel we need to do a second round of this. I don't either. I think we've uh, we've thoroughly got started this evening. Yes, indeed. I think we should go into the next segment, which we still don't currently have a thing for. No. Where we eat something into the sea. Yes. And after we're done here, we're going to record the sting without music. I'm done. I'm fed up. Yeah. Okay. We're well, I don't want you to be fed up, so I do think we should do this. We're going to record it, and I'm just going to make the video. There will be a sting by next week. Okay. That seems... It is... Decided. Decided. <laughs> I do like the tune though. Maybe we can just we can just hum it. We can just hum it. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, we've got a mic. We have the power. I could get a little. Do you know? What? I could get a little kazoo and be like. Do you own a kazoo? No, but they're like twenty p. They're cheaper than pasta, mate. Well, yeah, but you we're doing it tonight. Oh, we're doing it tonight. Yeah. I, oh, I thought said, you meant after the stream, like. Yeah, we're gonna no. Literally tonight, we're gonna knock off. We're gonna bring the mic closer to us, and we're gonna. Record I want to watch Mandalorian. It's going to take like four minutes. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's eat something into the sea before I put Alex in the sea. <laughs> I won't be able to help for you. For being an obtuse bastard. Oh, well, it takes one to know one. Douche. Um. <laughs> Douche. <laughs> 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 going to eat it in the sea. <laughs> Alex is already there. <laughs> Etc. and so forth. So. Um. <laughs> I've been humming it all day. It's a great tune. Catapult. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> trebuchet. Oh Why God. are we talking about... Oh, World Cup of a Pasta, pasta delivery, delivery System. A trebuchet? <laughs> Where, how far are you throwing this pasta? Cannon. Catapult. Ye Alex in the sea. Never. Is there much difference one. between a trebuchet and a catapult? Are they um, not the in, same thing? In style. I mean, they both fling things a distance, but <clears> the way they are done is a different... A catapult is basically just something which is held down and it's on a kind of arm that flicks something up that's effectively elasticated. A trebuchet is like a system of series of pulleys oh, yeah, and yeah, weights. Yeah. So you drop the weight and the whole thing spins around and flings it. Well, to be fair, trebuchet wins. Do you know why? It's really cool. Because it got a font named after it. Oh. There's no font called catapult, is there? So no. Trebuchet wins. There's an REM song called catapult. Don't know if that helps. It doesn't. Okay. So, um, <laughs> we're... Um, we're going to put some stuff in the sea. We are. Now, if you don't know this segment, this is where we decide that things are shit. We're on a big island with stuff on it, but this island needs to be it needs to have its load lightened. And there's too much shit that just isn't in the sea. I know they've pointed out that some things cannot be put in the sea. Or because, the fact... because they already live there. Yes. So, so Godzilla is already there around the island. Yes. And ready, Godzuki. Ready to strike at any point. Up from the depths. In some kind of nuclear statement. Um, so what do you... Now, I... Um, what does your thing say? Does it say coins? Corners. Oh, corners. I remember now what you said. Yeah. I thought, coins, we need them to I pay for things. I can see why you thought that. That writing is atrocious. It does look like coin. Coiners. It is my writing. <laughs> and my writing is bad. Okay. Yes. So I've got a couple of these things because I fucking hate shit. But, um... Yeah, I mean, ours keep to the... Keep to a theme. Do like a theme. Yes. Second time that's been said tonight. And so, based on the going viral segment earlier, these are car-based things mm. that are going in the sea. Yes. Because there is a lot of shit involving driving that really fucks us off. Would you like to go first, as you've got two things? And you've got your mouth full, so that's a perfect time to tee you up. The thing that happened to me the other day, when I went over to see Duncan Thessinger's house and his wife um, and his garden let's get in the right order um, I was on my way out of uh, Folkestone and I came up to the motorway and when you get on the motorway and not all of you have been on a motorway if you uh, you know driving on a motorway driving up a slip road and having to make decisions but when you get on the slip road you're having to come up to speed to match the speed that the cars are going on the motorway which is probably 70 miles an hour which means your slip road is getting you up to 70 miles an hour and I followed the thing I want to put in the sea round from um, the, you know, kind of just before the motorway, round the roundabout and onto the slip road and watched this BMW mm. drive in front of me at 30 miles an hour up the road, 
30 miles an hour around the roundabout, okay, but not boding well, I have to say, and then drove onto the slip road at 30 miles an hour, and then continued to drive at 30 miles an hour up the slip road towards the motorway, or the A road in this case, as it were. I was going to say. The dual carriageway. I know where you are talking about, and that is not a motorway. It's not a motorway, but at any rate. Because if they had, had entered the motorway at 30 miles an hour, that would have been against the law. But I mean, I still don't want to go. I still want to get onto that road at thirty miles an hour. No, no. I mean, because it 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 it's... was a motorway some one hundred yards back. Yes, so yes, they are yes, still yes, doing, yes, yes, yes. They're yes. still doing seventy miles an hour, oh or you know, more accurately, being that it's you know the M twenty ninety miles an hour. <laughs> yes, right. Oh my god! Do you know? So he gets up to this thing. We are all stacked up behind him, and I'm thinking, you've got a BMW, mate. I've got a Renault Scenic. I'm trying to go faster than you in a scenic. You want to swap cars? You want to drive like you've got a big family vehicle? Have I my am car. I'm driving in my car. <laughs> and you drive a fucking BMW and you're not. Get, get the fuck. Move, move. So all these cars stuck up behind him. Eventually we get level with um, the dual carriageway, as it were. Um, uh, actually, not even a dual. Yeah, no, eventually it, becomes, dual it dual eventually becomes a dual carriageway. It's just that <laughs> section obviously has kind of got two sections, but it is a dual carriageway. So. We get onto that. We all have to go on. He doesn't leave the slip road. We all kind of go on. But now none of us can now go onto the outside lane because there's fast traffic going. Mm. And none of us can go too fast because, because he, ha- to he has not come on yet. Again. And yeah. he waited, guys, until he had no slip road left. Until eventually it forced him on. And then reluctantly he drove on. So f- I thought BMW drivers were meant to be wankers who drove really fast. So it turns out the BMW drivers are either wankers that drive really fast or wankers that drive really slow. No BMW driver drives the right fucking speed. Get in the sea. I'm just saying. So all BMW drivers in the sea. Yes. And they're BMWs. Sounds reasonable to me. They can drive it into the sea very fucking slowly. It is hereby ratified. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. Well. Duncan uh, the Singer. Oh, hey, it's my good friend. Duncan Thessinger, welcome. It's actually Big Mouldy Wolf. That's why the badge is a wolf. There you go. You've heard it here first. I didn't know the badge is a wolf. I think he might be... Making it up? But I will go with it. Hmm. Um, what do you want to put in the sea? So much in the same kind of vein, I'm going to put other drivers in the sea. We're just going to get a bunch of drivers in the sea. Please do. I am putting in the sea drivers... I haven't had a fuck shed store we for a while. We haven't had a fuck shed store in a while. That's right. Thanks very much, Evan. Yeah. Fuck shed store. Bringing You're actually right. Fuck. Bringing it back. Um, lost my train of thought. I'm putting in the Sorry. sea people who, in their cars while driving, yes. <clears throat> will approach a corner. Mm-hmm. They're going to turn into a corner. So they've done the indication and all that kind of stuff. And they slow down to an absolute snail's pace to turn the corner. Ooh. Despite... It being the openest, widest corner of all Visible time. Visible corner. You can see everything that's happening all the way up the adjoining street. But yet you felt the need to slow all the way down from 40, 30, down to 5. And then snail's pace around the corner just in case some, I don't know, Godzilla jump out at you. I don't fucking know what your justification <laughs> is for going that slow around the There's fucking corner. There's no corner. reason for it. I mean, there's got no goddamn reason. I mean, it's fine if it's a blind corner and you don't know, like, you're going to turn and you <laughs> might find... Oh, of course, of course, you know, of course. You wouldn't drive out into nothing. But if you can see clear around the corner, because, say, it's a big wide open pavement and you can just see clear into the road and you know there's no obstacles, you know it's safe, slow down, yes. Don't try and take it at fucking 40. Yeah, because you'll just roll off. <laughs> you just, you just, <laughs> you just go wide and go on the other side of the road. But why the fuck are you slowing down so slow? So, dickheads, is that the corner near yours? There's several corners. There are many corners. Many, many corners. In it's this most, green and pleasant land. It, it, it's, there are a lot of them in folks. Anyway. Yeah, so drivers who drive slowly around corners in the fucking sea. Get in. I totally agree. Right next to the BMW drivers and Godzilla. Get the fuck <laughs> in there. Godzilla. Um, the other one I had came up just today. Just as I was sitting around in, sorry, sorry. S- sitting around in my office at the back, sorry, Studio B. Thank you for the follow. Drop a little follow there. Uh, Queha, Queha, mm. 
We will learn how you say your name when you tell us. Welcome to the show. You're wel- welcome into. Uh, don't Q-hua. get me started. That's what I'm going with. Q-hua. What I'll throw in the sea is this guy. Ca- Someone came up the back of back road behind the Giggity. house, <laughs> and they played their car horn. And they played car- it. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait. Do you mean played it? Yes. As in like. Um, do, 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 like a yeah. Yeah. It was it was like that, but what it was, it was oh. driving all the way up the fucking road. Couldn't reverse part. That was their fucking car horn. You don't even need to keep talking. And then they drove away, and then ten minutes later they came. Are you sure they weren't selling ice creams? Now, I couldn't get a glimpse of the car, but they were driving really fast. Ice cream or Akutak Jinx. Um, it could have been an ice cream van because I never got a sight of it because they drove so fast past that I couldn't glimpse it. But the problem is, right, there is an ice cream van that comes past who plays Love Me Tender in a strange oh cadence. Oh, God, what? He goes, do, 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 which is not quite how Love Me Tender goes, but this guy's had his van for a very long fucking time. And that guy... Bimbles along and sells stuff at the back. This guy. Well, was, you'd hope so. It's going to be difficult to sell ice cream at 100 miles an hour. You would imagine, which is why I'm certain that that guy was not an ice cream van. Hi, I'd like to buy an ice cream. Okay, fuck you. Never mind. Uh, yeah, right. And one of my favourite jokes is obviously when you see an ambulance coming past and say, "I'll never, never sell ice cream going that fast," which is always fun. But this guy was <laughs> That's like, "That's a dad joke." Isn't it great? I just dig it. Um, um, but a. There's one ice cream guy around here, and he it, we're on his manor. It wasn't that guy. And, and two. B, and two. Uh, he was going far too fast. It was definitely... He's just a dickhead. That tune is fucking obnoxious. It was. So what I'm putting in the sea is obnoxious fucking horns, I guess. I guess you can just call me Q. Mm. Q? Q? Um, <laughs> I'll call you Q. Talking of which, I saw the uh, trailer for Picard today. I'm sorry. Uh, I love Q. I love Q. Um, Q. 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 <laughs> um, was it Big Gary Lineker? It might have been. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that's what I want to put in the sea. Fucking stupid dickheads that play stupid. I mean, they're so obnoxious. I mean, no, they're just the fucking horn. If you take the horn away, then the dickhead's just going to be a sad husky. He might just, himself, yeah. Right? But like the fact that he had, he was like, I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to do the thing. I know how long this horn lasts. I know how much of a dickhead I'm it makes me. I'm such an obnoxious I'm going to press it anyway. There's a guy that walks along the road with a with a kind of a, a, a battery-powered speaker. So I don't know how many fucking of those cylindrical D batteries he's put in that fucking thing. Wax it up and just wanders around holding it. And I'm just like, I don't know if there's some. he's got some sort of problems. That oh, he's definitely got problems. He, 99 problems, but batteries ain't one. Apparently, well, batteries are one. Um... Suffice to say, it's another person that just walks up and down the back of that street. Just fucking, if it's not an ice cream man or a BMW driver or that dude or a Dixie Horn, it's the fucking guy with. Oh fuck that! Pl- I'm glad I don't live on that road. But anyway, so that's what I want to stick in there. Crisp peddler Gary Lineker got mentioned on my Belgian Mole episode this week. Hmm, I wonder why Gary Lineker was connected to the Belgian Mole. Q Q or Q Q Q Q Q. Anyway. Q, very glad you're here. Very welcome. Welcome, welcome in. Tell us about yourself. Don't get me started. This is a ranty podcast. We're almost near the end. We've got one segment left, which is a segment we all really enjoy. It is. I'm Alex. This is Jeremy. And you're very welcome here. Um, Bet he has a novelty doorbell too. I love that Simpsons episode. They were in Munich for a football challenge and it opened with a Gary Lineker quote. My Canadian friend had never heard of him. Gary Lineker's amazing. He had 48 caps for his country. Never had a yellow card or a red card. And he had the greatest amount of goals for any one single um, football club sitting when he was at Leicester City. Are you enjoying this? Uh, not really. So, I mean, I'm just saying, uh, Gary Lineker's a fucking legend. 
and your friend your friend has not heard of it. Your Canadian friend hasn't heard of him. Well, Lucky he bastard. He does live in Canada. I mean, knowing nineties. I wish I'd never heard of Gary Lineker. What's wrong with Gary Lineker? I don't want to put Gary Lineker in the sea. I'm putting Gary Lineker don't in the put sea Gary right Lineker. fucking now. Now you want to start. He's in the sea. If you start putting people that I like, I mean, I don't, I'm not. Don't really care that much about Gary Lineker. Yeah, good. He's in the sea. I hope Godzilla fucking eats him. Why do you want to... <laughs> I hope Godzilla eats him. You're just like my mum. My mum doesn't like Gary Lineker, as we've said on previous episodes. I mean, I don't dislike him. It's just... Yeah, but why he... is he still a thing? He hasn't played the sport he He's a pundit. He talks like... about the game. Oh, like, Does he, though? Yes. No. He's good at it. Well, he can't now. Because he's <laughs> in the sea. <laughs> That's what he sounds like now, because he's in the sea next to Godzilla. All I heard was football, football, football. Uh, we all know, everyone in this country knows who Gary Lineker is. Everyone in this country knows who Gary Lineker is. I and mean, yes. come on, he's a very famous English footballer. Yes. And he it, is and now he will be known as that dickhead that's in the sea <laughs> next to Godzilla. Yeah, but you, you, one You're of these welcome. days I'll put someone in the sea that you love, and we're going to get into this kind of cold war where we're sticking things in the sea. That it is very cold. Mm, in the sea. In the sea. <laughs> Jess called it football. You mean soccer. I do mean soccer. He knows what he means. Mm. Don't tell him what he means. I didn't call it football. Hannah called it football. I just quoted. I might be going mad, but what is a podcast? Well, I mean, this... This is a podcast. Is a podcast. A, a podcast is just a spoken word thing. Yeah. Really. An audio-based episode... That you can listen to. Yeah, an episode, an episodic thing. That's what a podcast yeah. is. Most, a lot of podcasts when they started were just audio things with no video content, but it's graduated to audio and video, and you can listen to it basically, or you can watch it like a radio show without the music. You're absolutely like right. you're doing right the fuck now. This is podcast stuff, but obviously we put it on Twitch where you are. So yes. thank you very much, Q. Yes. Q. Q. Um, Chuck Lineker in the sea, all you like. He's an ace swimmer. <laughs> My mum can't stand him. My mum cannot stand yeah, him. Yeah, let's see how well he swims when Godzilla's taking a chunk and out Godzuki. of Godzuki. Yeah, he's there too. Why not? <laughs> right. He can fly. We are onwards into our final segment yes. of the show. Yes. That we like to call... Am I the asshole? No. It's the children who are wrong. <laughs> I just love that so much. Um, last segment of the show. Um, I better reach for my thing. Oh, um, reach for the thing. In an attempt to get a, a follow from Q, um, because <laughs> I need all the follows I can get. Now I'm heading for three hundred. You don't know. You've got a long way to go to your next milestone. You might as well give up. <laughs> it doesn't sound like something I would do. <laughs> it doesn't. Um, who's not, who's not your that one? Would, who's not your that one? I would want you to either. No. <laughs> it's just a funny line. I know. Um, Chuck Duncan in the sea for being a Lineker stan. Everyone, st- how can you not? I mean, if you grow up in anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Jaeger, could you give me a shout out, please, so that anybody? Thank you. Yeah, oh, Duncan, no, Duncan, Duncan can't Duncan do it. it. He's not special. Duncan can't do it because he's a. Oh, I said okay. Jaeger, could you give me a shout out, please? That would be lovely. And if you feel like following me because I'm super sexy, then uh, feel free to. No. <laughs> well, there you go. Hmm. Well, he likes to say that, but actually, he is a good mod, so he's going to. I know he will. Because he's just too good at his job not to. Right, so this is the section... <laughs> this is the section where we read Am I the Arseholes from the Reddit, uh, subreddit of Reddit, 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 Reddit. And we read them out and you decide if they're arseholes or not. Jaeger's still not... We read it out. We read it out. We are going to read it out. Um, I mean, I can take or leave Lineker, but he was fucking incredible. I have nothing against Lineker, it's just really fun winding up. Oh, so you want a dip in the sea as well, do you, Hannah? <laughs> you watch yourself. Uh, do you want to do this? You can go first, you go for it. Okay, cool. Well, Jaeger's still not doing his thing. He's not. He's not a very... He, what, My has, keyboard's has all the way over there. Has he forgotten how to mod? Has he forgotten? Yeah, I think he may have done. I think he's just so, like, flabbergasted with your, your Lineker love that... He doesn't even know who Gary Lineker is. Well, he must do, I presume. Um, anyway. <laughs> Look at this face. He's, he's just flabbergasted. Jaeger refused to give me a shout out. Flabbergasted, a word that Isabeau loves to use, even if not always correctly. <laughs> um, am I the arsehole? The funniest thing he's ever been involved in was that short-lived Twitter campaign where you could send them a video and they put you in the crowd. I don't remember this thing. I mean, by the way, Lineker isn't known for being funny. 
He's he's a good footballer. Why are we even discussing? I don't care that much. I'm just saying it's strange. It doesn't that... sound like you don't care that much. Oh, it just sounds like I care. Mm. He was good. Oh, I don't care. Do you know when I was a kid, we would when you played football as a as a child at primary school. Yes. And jumpers uh, for goalposts. And all that. Jumpers for goalposts, and then later in the in this in secondary school because he was playing in the in the nineties. When you graduate to actual goalposts. For yeah, goalposts. actual goal post, goalposts for goalposts. Not quite as fun to say. <laughs> You would often pretend to be footballers. Oh, right. You would say I you would, often pretended to be the goalpost <laughs> and just stand there. Yeah. You, and you would just kind of <laughs> limp for me, limp for me. So people would pretend to be like you know you'd celebrate like you would. Yeah, but people do it now. They they celebrate like they're Messi or this. And I would always wish I was Gary Lineker. So I guess I did like Gary Lineker. So what what was Gary Lineker's goal celebration? I don't really remember actually. So how did you do his goal? Well, celebration? we just say his name. You just run away saying his name. You'd be like Lineker. You know, it'd be like that. Everyone would do stuff like that. Sounds like a cunty thing to do. We were children, Jeremy. Anyway, so... um, <laughs> it, It's like basketball. If you throw a piece of paper in the bin, you have to go, Kobe, and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm glad it didn't, actually. When I was a child, I, 6M, played, <laughs> played football. And when I scored a goal, I ran away shouting, Lineker, am I the arsehole? Well, I think we can put this one to bed straight away. <laughs> I think the original poster... Uh, is um. Look at him. <laughs> Look at him being a troll. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, Alex pretended he was Jeff Hurst. <laughs> Alex, Alex scored one of the all-time great five-side goals. <laughs> Shouting out Duncan the Zinger. Oh burn. <laughs> oh man. Mr Beast gets a shout out. <laughs> He's really getting his revenge for something. I don't. I know don't what. understand. I thought he wanted to be a mod on my channel. Clearly, he doesn't. Mm. These things can be rescinded pretty quickly. You understand that, right? So, um, let us re- <laughs> Rooster's like, what? what? The fuck is going on? In I can this get you a toe. Channel, man. I can get you a toe by three o'clock tomorrow afternoon with nail polish. Um, am I the arsehole? Yes. Okay, well that one's put that one to bed. I'm glad we did it. Tune in next week. Um, am I the arsehole for not wanting my sister's dress? Mm. Oh yeah, you found this one as well. I did, I did. You I really did. went to work this week. I tried, well I wanted to help. I, Good job. I just felt like, you know, I wanted to help. Um, I'll keep it as short. <laughs> am I not wanting, am I, am I the arsehole for not wanting my sister's dress? I'll keep it as short as possible. I think you should wear it. Um, ha ha ha! I'm being outrageous, right? Oh, thank you, <laughs> he, <laughs> he does. <I'm... laughs> thank you very much. Yes, I am always be chatting. Help me get to my lofty goal of more people. <laughs> I are funny. Recently, recently, my cousin got engaged and is planning to wed next month. He gave our family money to buy dresses for the wedding. Let's say it's around $600 to split up against five family members. My sister, 21F, bought two expensive dresses for the wedding. She said she initially planned to buy one, but somehow ended up buying two, as she really liked both. My brother, 14M, got himself a really good suit. Not expensive as my sister's, but still pretty good. My parents got themselves nice dresses and I, 19F, was the last one. Turns out, every single dollar is spent. Before you ask why I didn't buy soon, I thought we would all buy together. But my sister and my brother went shopping one day and I had an internship that day. My parents also went after that. When I asked about it, my parents just told me to borrow one of my sister's old dresses. I simply refused and asked them to buy me a new one. Then they told me, if I buy new expensive dresses instead of wearing my sister's, I won't be probably buying clothes for the next couple of months, which I can't because I'll be needing casual clothes for wearing at home and for going out. Let me tell you what. Go on then. Being a middle child sucks. All my life, I've been either using my sister's or buying the cheap ones compared to my sister. Not just clothes, literally everything. Even my college fund was used for my sister, just because I was able to secure a 95% scholarship. I'm a really good student. They did ask me before taking the money out. 
I said, okay, because it happens every time. All the money they've saved for me, or they gave me, has been taken back by my parents or my sister and only paid back a little so far. So am I the arsehole? Um, I read this earlier, the cousin is a legend. So... I think the parents are the the primary assholes in this because they've been given the funds to share out like mm. fair play to the cousin for you know actually giving the yeah. money to to buy stuff for the wedding in general yeah because that that doesn't happen very often it does but, not so the parents should have been the responsible ones here and literally doled that out equally well, yeah like whatever 600 divided by how many people we've got it's, five? The, it's the mum the dad and three two, children and three children yeah so five yeah hundred dollars each yeah Roughly well, no. thereabouts. No, it's 600, it's 600 in total. Not 500. It's, uh, it's 100 and change, isn't it? So, yeah, the cousin has gone, listen, I've got a wedding going on. And I think it would be nice if you all had new clothes. So I'm going to give you 600 to split equally. And that is what I want you to do with it. And then one of the daughters went, can I have two dresses? And a right-thinking parent would go, no. Well, it turns out, Parents weren't there when she bought the dress, and she no. just bought two they dresses. Just bought two like, I bought two dresses. I bought two dresses I with their money. 120 each. Thank you, maths. Thank you, maths. Maths, Mike. We don't call you. Maths, Jay Harmstone. The fact that the sister has a second dress and could return one. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's such a dickhead. No, of course not. Why did the sister get two dresses? How did they let that happen? They just fucking let it happen, didn't they? And did she buy it with her own money and then went, well, I'll need that money back. I'll need obviously. that reimbursed. Yeah, reimbursed yeah. from the cousin's fund. And then, of course, at the end of it, like the, the parents just don't go and go, oh, yeah, we fucked up here. You send that bum back. With that money we get back from that, you go and buy that. They or went, even oh. just, we'll buy you a dress for, to the value of of the amount that... Mm. I mean, the easiest thing would be just say to the two-dress sister, take one back, take that money, that's it. But even yeah. if they did, they had a couple of options. In the end, they went, rather than reaching for the easiest one or the second easiest one, they opted for the why don't you just wear anything in any in, when anything in your yeah. sister's closet, uh, closet? Why don't you just go against your cousin's wishes and wear some old trash from your cupboard? Mm. Fuck me! What a bunch of cunts these guys are! This is total bullshit. I know the OP's pain. Yeah, Jaeger had to go to a wedding and he was going to buy a dress. Yeah, he he couldn't afford a dress either because yeah, his sister bought one. Had to go naked. Unfortunately, that's it. No. I think we're all in agreement, but I still quite like this because when I found it, because it's just so dickish. It is so dickheadish, yeah. It's so yeah. horrible. This family's got together, so, and also it is eldest and youngest child like syndrome, though. Like, the, like I'm in the middle, and every time I've just got the, the knockoffs of everybody, or they just spend my money. Uh, so we, what they've also said is like the college fund. College fund is a thing in America, so they're like, yes. we'll put aside money for all of our children. And then one of our children applies herself, works really hard, gets a scholarship, and they're like, great, that money that we had saved for you can go on somebody else that's shit. Like, surely don't you just go, you've worked really hard and got a scholarship, this college money... Is yours to spend on a brand new car! Yeah, why would you... It's like, oh, we saved us some money, which you can give to the the shit sister. Yeah. Fuck me, I hate these people so much. So much, I'm going to screw up this. Throw it over there. I meant mistreatment and favouritism by adults. Well, yes, but there's no joke there. Yeah. So we went in a different direction. Okay. See See how that works? We've been paid for our comedy. We're professional comedians. in this direction. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, Mike. (laughs) What did you say, Mike? 34 messages were deleted by him. He he posted the Reddit without asking to post a link first. Oh, okay, never mind. Sorry, Mike. So he's been deleted now. We'll never see him again. Bye, Mike. They can get in the sea. Yes, they can. I look good in a dress. That's such a great thing to say. I dig that so much. Oopsies. Positive Reddit link. <laughs> what did Mike Harmstone do? What didn't he do? What did you come <laughs> with me getting eat Mike in the sea? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to read your... Yes. Uh, well, just to just to provide the, uh, the update that... Oh, I can't now. It's been deleted. Oh, man. I've got to give another one of these crisps. They're really good. Uh, I think... Mike said that um, well you can just do exclamation permit MJ Harmstone and you can post the link mm. um, it was just that he didn't ask permission first um, what was I saying yeah apparently the the cousin found out about it and took all the money back really that's what Mike just said yeah yeah oh that's fucking incredible I did when I watched it because normally you find them yes and I really wanted to find one so that I could chip in and I did see there was a whole bit of like 
the results of what I didn't read that far, but I was really reading it. I, I, I tend not to read on to the results because that kind of spoils yeah. what we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I've been meaning to you know clip some of these and put them on the on the Reddit, but I never get around to it. Never get time. I totally that. get that. But anyway, on to our second. Am I the arsehole? I will read and I will listen uh, and drink. Am I the arsehole for letting my friend get caught being gross? <laughs> I, 16 male, live with my dad and my mom. For context, my dad became a dad pretty young, like at the age of 14 young. My, mo- my bio mom, which is um, some kind of superhero apparently, <laughs> uh, ditched me with my dad after high school and he's been taking care of me ever since. Okay. He met my mom when they were both 21 by that he means mom when they were both 21 and i was seven since i've known her she's been the kindest and most understanding with both me and my dad i see her as my mom and she calls me her son no step i'm just her son if she asked to adopt me i'd let her i don't know anything about my bio mom uh you can read her in a comic book i'm sure Uh, and i don't really care to my mom looks young because she is She's a bit younger than most parents to kids my age, and uh, I know she's a bit insecure about it, but she's gotten better better with it with time. I had my friend Aiden over to hang out, and it was his first time meeting my mom. Uh, Her and I look nothing alike, and he brought it up. She's Asian, and I'm very obviously not. I told him she's not technically my bio mom, but I consider her a mother. Okay. Okay. I know as a teenage dude myself where the mind tends to go, so I let him get the stupid stepmom laughs out of his system. He kept going for a while and I tried to get him to stop, but he just kept going. He was in the middle of being gross when I heard my dad pull up into the driveway. I could hear him coming down the hall to my room and I didn't stop Aiden's gross rant and let my dad hear him. Needless to say, the stepmom comments never popped up again. Uh, it got brought up recently when he talked about how embarrassing it was and I told Aiden I knew my dad was coming and I let him get caught. He said I'm a douchebag for embarrassing him like that. I he fucking said, hate this shit. He said if the jokes really pissed me off that much I should have just told him. Stop. Should I have warned him my dad was coming? No. I hate this shit by the way. This is one of my most hated shit almost in the world is where someone else does something wrong and then they get caught and they try and find a way to blame somebody else. I can't believe you let me get caught doing that disgusting fucking thing I was doing. I fucking How dare hate. you let me get caught doing the disgusting thing I shouldn't have been doing in the I first did some place. gross shit. You had an opportunity to stop me. And I carried on doing the gross shit and someone called me out on it. That's your fault. No, mate, it's your fault. That's how it works. I fucking hate that shit. No. So much. Chat shit. shit. Get, get banged. banged. Jinx. Boosh. So, um, I just, I I'm a big fan agree. of that. Chat shit, get banged. Jez, like what happened on Wednesday? To me, Wednesday. What happened to him on Wednesday? Was that on well, 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 way back Wednesday? Did he chat shit? Did he get banged? Aiden is the arsehole. Aiden is the arsehole. Yeah, I mean, by Wednesday the way. Wednesday was a long time ago. It was. It and was I like don't have a short weeks term ago. memory, so. We know that. Require context for that statement. What I like about that story is it's quite a nice little story. It is. Up until the. You set it up really nicely. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. I was. With my, my, my parents got together very young, my mum couldn't handle it, left, my dad looked after me, got together with someone else, she is my mum now, everything's wonderful. My dickhead friend, by the way, the third thing is like, my dickhead friend started doing stepmom jokes, like, you know, and I'm like, I don't, but I can no. work it out, because I don't, <laughs> we ever No, because did. only in, the, in your weird like, kind of mind would you ever consider the idea of yeah. stepmom stuff, so maybe just It's like, you know, up. and I'm like, no, I don't. Mm-mm-mm-mm. No. I don't have sexual... And also, how many jokes can you make about that? Because if, if we're saying there's a sexual reference to the joke about stepmothers... Yes. Once you've made that joke, it's like, well, your stepmother, she's hot. Ever thought about hitting that? And that's it, the end of the joke. And that's it. That's like the whole that's joke. That's as far as that goes. How can you make that more, so much so that you've made it like... And then if, if you, you know, if you have hit that, you could, like, hit that again. Like, because she's your step... Like, you can't get enough... To be enough that it took time of for the dad wonderful to, duff. <laughs> to drive in, park up, walk in, walk up to you, go into your room and catch you. Know, this guy go, this guy's just chatting shit in his ear. He's just like... <laughs> it's just, how many jokes could you make? It just doesn't work. <coughs> oh, that one hit me. Hit me with your best shot. Doom, doom, doom. Um... 
<clears throat> so I think we've very successfully arseholed. Arseholed. And once again, I think this has been quite a good show, really, when you've gone through, run the gamut of going viral, mm-hmm. lots of food stuff that Mike Harmstone has to eat, things we hated on, BMW drivers and any other drivers we hate, really, in the sea, and some good Am I the Arseholes. Yes, we have thoroughly got started, despite going flying in the face of the name of the show. Yes, 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 on number 45. Does anybody have any other business while we're all sitting here that you want to discuss or want us to discuss? The agenda is open. And while you're thinking about that, maybe we'll show you a little bit of the schedule? Yes, yes. That's a good thing to do while I'm looking for someone to raid. Very Enjoy well. the show again tonight. See, professional once again. Thank you. Well, yes, absolutely. This there you is... go. It's still got the thing around it. I did my very best to, to rattle through that. To give me as much time that. as possible. Absolutely, because I want you to know all this stuff, but I don't want it to detract from your uh, desire to keep watching my beautiful face. And Jeremy's beautiful face to a, a degree. Um... It's a face. <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm glad you've all had a good time. We're going to look now for someone to raid. Let's go to this random person. I'm, li- I'm literally just picking someone from the just chatting category. We're going to raid someone random. Um, tell them where you came from. Tell them what you did. Chat to them. Have a laugh. Let's go across and see them. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I don't I have a question for you. My brain isn't working. That's okay. I mean, I can just throw it to the the ultimate classic. Yes. Say something funny, funny guy. <laughs> I love how I've jinxed you so much tonight and you still haven't shut the fuck up. <laughs>